teenager, I was interested in the occult. And the occult in those days meant you had reading books and you got books on fortune telling and all that sort of thing. And the closest thing there was to anything about calling up spirits or demons or that sort of thing was a lot of gobbledygook where you sit around in a circle and you use the protective names of Jehovah and Jesus and all that. And uh, I tried it. Oh, Lord knows I tried it, but it didn't work. <laughs> so I thought to myself, well, if I'm going to call up any demon, if I'm going to get any magical power, if I'm going to get anything going my way, I better get on the side of those guys instead of protecting myself from them. Bonjour, hello, hello. How's it going, guys? Yolfric, how you doing, my dude? Good to see you. It's been a while. What have you been up to, man? Hope life is treating you very well. Taking a nap after getting home from class. Otherwise, things are well. Nice. How's class going? Is the is the the old brain getting bigger? I hope so. Salmon flavor. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Today will be the third day that I've tried to get Vintage Story to work. And I think, I think I've cracked it. Going okay. Brain has been getting bigger. Yeah, nice. Once you start looking like uh, the brain from Pinky and the Brain, you know that you're you're in there. You remember that show? I used to friggin' love Pinky and the Brain, dude. Alright. Um. Oh, I just did a, uh, I did a YouTube premiere. Premiere. I did a YouTube premiere. I did a YouTube premiere for, um. For Zero Sievert just now, and it, it was really cool. It went really well, and, um. Yeah. It was good stuff. I hope that... I've been really focusing on some YouTube stuff lately. Because, uh, you know, I'm trying to... Trying to diversify a little bit. And it's kind of easy just to, like, bash out a, a 30 minute YouTube video. Just upload it. It takes me, like... It takes no time at all. So that's been fun. But streaming is my, my real... My thing. You know, I, I love streaming. And chatting with you guys. So let's try. You're going to see a little bit of lag now. As I open up Vintage Story. Because it freaks out my encoder. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to make a brand new save. Great new world. Standard. Peaceful hermit world it's called. Alright. Yeah. Ignore the, uh, the stuttering. It's just Vintage Story being Vintage Story. It should start to chill out a little bit now. Fingers crossed that it works. <laughs> okay. We're loading in. Alright, one moment. Let me uh, quickly chuck my character together. You know what? This guy looks fine. Okay. 
So I think I got the settings sorted. I did a test stream yesterday. Excuse the uh, the little bit of encoding overloaded nonsense. That should stop momentarily. Let's grab. There we go. Um. How is it on your end, chat? It should. It shouldn't be choppy. It sh it'll be a little bit choppy here and there, but. No, that looks choppy as heck, dude. Hold on. You know what it is? I am playing in on a 1440p monitor. So if I could reduce my resolution. I guess 56% would be <laughs> would be 1080. Hey, Bubs, how you doing, dude? All right, I'm going to try this. Christ, I really thought... You know the annoying thing? Yesterday when I was streaming this game, I did a 30-minute secret stream. It, it it ran fine. Yeah, let me let me uh, restart here. And let's see if this um, resolution... I think you don't have to restart. I think it just does it. It just works. So here's to hoping. Let me know if it uh, becomes like unbearably laggy. Just annoying because we ran it. We ran this game absolutely fine a couple months ago. I didn't have to mess around with anything. We found some peat. Make a little knife here. Get chopping. Beautiful. We just need some sticks. Give me sticks or give me death. Hey, death it is then, I guess. Oh, there's a caravan here. What up, my dude? Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. You go there. You go number five. All right, baby. Grab a little grass. I think I remember the order of operations here. How you doing, bubs? Good to see you as always. Hope you had a great weekend. Full of pogs. Alright, this is the stuff we need right now. Cattails. Probably mark this as Pete as well. Pete looks like this. There we go. There may be conflicting music on right now, so let me pause. Shout out Frankie Seven. On Spotify, aka Frank the Witch, aka Legend. Today's the last day of your Thanksgiving break, so you're enjoying it. Ooh, nice. Happy, uh, happy late Thanksgiving. Um, how did it go? What what food did you get up to? Sometimes I see like the food people eat on Thanksgiving. I'm like, holy crap. Do you know what I always wanted to try? Is the uh, I think it's like baked yams with marshmallows on top. That sounds crazy to me, but it sounds crazy enough that it would work. I don't think I've ever eaten a yam in my life. I don't think we have them in the UK. Well, that's not true. If you go to like a Caribbean place, they have yams. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I've been, um, you know what? I've been doing a lot of, uh, 
a lot of YouTube and streaming and stuff. Uh, YouTube especially, I've really um, started to work on recently. And it's going super duper well. Um, I'm almost at like 300 subs within like 6 weeks. So, yeah, it's going kind of kind of crazy right now. Alright, let's make our first baskets here. Two, baby. We're officially rich. Okay, we need more flint. Uh, you know what? This I don't want to go wade out there for those other ones. What's your favorite um, Thanksgiving meal? All of the flint. You know my favorite bit about Christmas dinner is the roasted parsnips and the Brussels sprouts. And pigs in blankets. You guys like pigs in blankets? Oh my god. I love me some pigs in blankets. Got a pig in a blanket. I want to find a nice flat kind of area to set up base near water. Um, this all looks kind of cursed, but maybe... Uh, maybe along this lake. No, we should we should explore. You know, it's our first our first day. We we don't want to just plop down a base anywhere. We want to go and find somewhere. Oh, there's a little ruin here. Let's mark this. Beautiful. Is it from your card content? Yeah, so the card content's doing really well. I've made some tutorials. I've also been making... Uh, there's a game called Quasimorph. I don't know if you've heard of it. Those videos have been doing insanely well. And I've just finished doing a Zero... Well, I just started, I should say. Um, a Zero Sievert uh, playthrough. I just did the premiere. Just ended about 25 minutes ago. And yeah, it... It went really, really well, so um, fingers crossed I can turn that into a series as well. I've been doing uh, daily cuds, and I've just finished like the first season of a cud playthrough, and start the second one in a couple weeks, probably. I'm, I'm nervous in case there's a bear around here. Pine resin, this is kind of, um, kind of good, I think, for something. I don't remember what. Um, resin. I'm like the worst person for this stuff because, like in Val in Valheim, I'm the same. Where I I spend way too much time like making my map look nice and making sure everything's formatted properly. Such a big waste of time, but to me, it's important. Okay, we got another ruin. Um, I guess I should probably loot these right now, huh? Um, let's mark it regardless. See if there's a chest here. We have a bunch of rice seeds. Okay. Cool. Let's see what we can see from up on high. I do want to make a spear. So we can go hunting. I'm gonna make two spears. My favorite thing about this game is throwing the spear. It's really satisfying. The stuffing is the only thing that matters and everything else is a bonus. Yeah, I love me some stuffing as well. Stuffing's good. I used to hate it as a kid. You have two types of turkey, one brined and smoked, the other baked. A killer broccoli cheese casserole. Oh, that sounds good. Mmm. Anything in a casserole is A-OK -okay by me. Give me the spear. Oh my god, I got something in my eye. Uh, let me catch up on chat real quick. Um, good mashed potatoes, dressing, plenty of gravy. 
homemade rolls, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cheesecake, chocolate covered strawberries, homemade wine. Oh my god, you guys go all out. That sounds incredible, Yolvrick. You know, I, I've never had... I love cheesecake. I think pumpkin cheesecake would be really good. Because pumpkin's quite a mild flavour, right? I've, you've seen my name on the daily leaderboards a few times. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I do... I would say 60% of the time I get, like, number one or number two. Although today, I had, a, I had a, like, a, a seven-minute run. <laughs> WTF is a crafting in this game. Yeah, the crafting's actually awesome. So you nap with pieces of flint, which is what you just saw me do there. Um, like we are in the very most basic. There's a rabbit there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like I'm gonna completely miss, but now that is why I love this game. It's not because it's incredibly in depth and and in just a great game, but it's it's the friggin' spear throws, man. It doesn't get much better than that. That rabbit got absolutely wrecked, dude. When you hit that, it just it's it's different, you know. Give me some more of these, please. All right, we're good for baskets. Bing bong. So before it gets dark and terrifying, uh, we probably should be cutting some trees down. That's a raccoon. I'm not gonna bother the raccoon. I don't want to eat raccoon meat. Sounds gross. What do we got down this way? We got another huge lake. This could be an okay place to build, potentially. Uh, let's make an axe real quick. Yeah, so you, you break away the voxels. This is a voxel-based game. Break away these individual voxels. And then, boom, we got an axe head. And I think you can use the bone on the axe head, and it gives slightly more durability. Yeah, beautiful. I use Minecraft controls here, where spear, no, that's a knife, sorry. Spear goes in number four. Rabbit. God, they're so quick. This, where are you? It's like you fell down a hole. There's more peat here as well. Peat's good. Let's get sneaky. Didn't mean to throw that. Where the hell did that rabbit go, dude? Yeah, that's a wolf. Mashed potatoes are made with chicken stock. Oh, baby. You're trying to keep an open mind and it's not just... Oh, okay, yeah, let me tell you about uh, Vintage Story. It is definitely not a Minecraft clone, other than it is, you know, it uses cubes. Um, This game is more akin to, like a hardcore survival game you can't just build a pickaxe in vintage story and you have to forage for your food uh you have to grow there are things like temperatures that you have to take into account for growing um before you can even think about getting a pickaxe you have to forage for copper enough copper to melt smelt a uh, a pick you then have to go and make a prospector pick it's a bit like did you ever play what was that minecraft mod called um terra firma craft it's like that but more hardcore you know see now i'm just quaffing some berries oh also there's a like an eldritch lovecraftian um thing going on as well in the background i think that rabbit might be dead because of the wolves are you dead or are you just Tricking me. You were tricking me? That was a bad miss. I don't want to mess with a wolf. But let's try and be quick here. Oh, 
Oh, you haven't, but you played Valheim. Yeah, so this is... It's kind of like a slightly more hardcore Valheim with, um... With Minecraft baked in. Oh my god, I'm so good at those spear shots, dude. I said it before, somebody needs to make a game where it's just a, like a javelin simulator. I would love that. Okay, we've got three pieces of meat, so... Where are you running? What are you running from? Why did I stop? Are you running from a wolf? There's a wolf behind me. You have to legally... Ugh. You can chase the rabbit into the water. I think that might slow it down if we try and corral it. Where is he? Oh! Yeah. Alright. Try not to drown. Scarb. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're getting a decent amount of food here. We're going to want to find somewhere to spend the night soon. Also, you want to keep an eye out for any, like, interesting resources. You can use this to make bandages, this horsetail. I want to grab as many berries as possible right now. Same with sticks. We should probably start chopping some trees. I don't know if we have enough. What is this? This is oak. Oak's really useful, so let's leave that for now. Um, it's cool that there's oak here. I'm going to mark this area real quick. I'm going to say peat and oak. Let's here and just say oak. Give it a lovely kind of green oak color. Lovely. All right. We'll come back for that later. For now, we'll grab some crappy wood like this maple. Nobody cares about maple. The trash wood. Same with birch. You can hear rabbits sniffling all around me. Rabbits don't make that noise in real life. You can't convince me otherwise. I had a pet rabbit once. Never heard it made that make that noise ever. Okay, how long do these berries last? Two days, four days, 1.7 days. Okay. 1.5, 1.4 days. I think it actually makes sense to keep the meat on your hotbar. It might spoil slightly slower. Is that a bear? There's a lot of rabbits. That's a bear. Yep. Okay, well. That might be a problem. We don't have nearly enough stuff to take out a bear, so let's just leave him there. Have some delicious red currant. I'm glad we finally got this game working. It's really stressing me out. I was about to give up. Completely ignoring all these. Oh! That rabbit may have just fell into a pit. Yep. Let's not make the same mistake. Alright, I'm going to grab some wood now, I think. Button. Okay. Let's get some, uh, some pine. Some garbage pine. Pine also a garbage wood. Chop, 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 chop. So I, I want to find somewhere like cool to um to make a base. So I don't normally I would just build somewhere kind of close to spawn. But um it might be cool to look for like a a, a nice kind of beautified location somewhere that 
has I, I need water near it. For what I want to do, I need to have like a lake nearby. This is mature rye. There's a dead hare here apparently. Where did I see a dead hare? Oh, it's a baby. Killed by another creature. Like what? Makes me a bit nervous. What killed him? Who kill? Oh, baby, we got some mushrooms over here. There's a raccoon. Use knife to harvest quicker. Okay. Any more? Yeah. Dude, we're going to be cooking up a stew. Oh, what we need is clay. That's what I'd like to find. Um, Before the sun goes down, which is happening quite soon from the looks of things. Uh, Clay. Is that clay? That's gravel. We can get going with pottery as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit dark now. Um, clay, clay, clay. Where do you bay? Over here, perhaps? Clay happens near water in real life, so I'm assuming that's what happens in game. Let's also grab some more grass since we're out here. We need it to build some torches and campfires soon. That looks cursed over there. It looks like that's the kind of place that a bear would hang out. So I'm going to kind of go around the edge. I'm going to I'm going to be edging, if you will. Um around here. Just want like just just to find clay. We don't have to grab it tonight. All right. I don't like this uh, location. All of these little kind of islands. I want to build somewhere nice and flat if possible. Because terraforming in this game is like a, a massive chore. Over here looks like it might be okay. Is this where we started? Not where, well actually it may be, yeah I think this is definitely where we started, this is the same caravan. Okay, our cog seems to be stable in this area which is good. Grab some more flint. And how about we spend the night I mean, I haven't built a shovel yet, which is kind of stupid. Also, I probably shouldn't be just taking all of these berries because... I have to leave some. Because I think raccoons can eat them, but also they spoil pretty quickly if we pick them. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a dum-dum. I absolutely should have built a shovel, so let's do that real quick. This game feels a lot more tense on the first night than like Valheim or, or Minecraft for sure. Let's build this shovel. Let's grab some, some dirt. You know what? We'll, we'll um. I, I'm gonna build a, a little place into the side of this hill. I think that's okay. I think in this game mode, um, there's no gravity with the, um, with the dirt like there is in the other game mode. So we probably won't suffocate.
grab like one more tree before we go. It's getting windy, we can hear the wind. This is oak. I thought I heard bees then. Do I hear bees? No. Wishful thinking. Uh, let's grab some more sticks. We should probably get the hell out of here. Before stuff starts spawning. Shut up. Hey, Frankie! How you doing, my dude? Yeah, I got it working. I did a little secret stream yesterday for like half an hour and tweaked it. And uh, today, weirdly, I was having a little bit of a problem today. But then I reduced the resolution and it seems to be fine. I assume it's running at like 1080 now rather than 1440. So, we're good. Oh yeah, we got a perfect little hidey hole here. Um, let's craft ourselves a fire. Which we do like so. Oh, and also we need um we need to make a fire lighter. I think the firelight recipe is like this. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh no. Quickly. No, that's not quick enough, you dick. No, you dropped the wrong thing, you absolute gimp. Let's try and find that fire. I think they can technically spawn in here. Oh. I, I kind of wanted to, I was hoping to play like a peaceful, um, a peaceful run, but I guess we have drifters. Let's let these torches cook up and then we'll cook up some meat. I don't know if drifters can get through a one by one hole. I do sort of want to test it. No, but they will try and throw stuff at me. They're fighting. They're fighting each other. My god, they're everywhere, dude. a little bit too loud for my liking. Um, I hate, I hate it when they don't have individual sliders for stuff. I guess we just have to do that. Should be a bit more quiet now. Yeah, good. All right. Grab these torches. Get some meat cooking here. Pop the torch down here. Oh, you're. No! Stop this! Okay, he's dead. He punched me. He's got nothing. Really are loud, huh? Um, I 
Yeah, don't stand in the fire, my friends. Can we light a fire outside? Can we do that? Throw a stone at me, like a coward. Oh my god, he's a he's a crawler. Come back. Stop throwing stones, you wimp. Oh, they really want to get in here, huh? Chow down. Bit of meat there. Watch me set this place on fire. We're gonna burn it clean. How does it feel? Damn. Just chilling, waiting for the demons to leave. My guy looks like he's seen some shit. He looks like he was in like Nam or something. Wonder if that fire is still going out there. There is a dead drifter there. Doesn't look flamey enough for me. Go, go, gadget, fire. Alright. Um, do I have enough to make a... I have some reeds, but I don't have enough to make a, another basket. No. Gee. Alright. Rearrange my inventory here. You know what? Number, number one can be the knife. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we need cloth, which means we're going to need linen, which is going to take forever. But I can hear so many of those guys. I would love to loot that. You think I've got time to quickly go like, boop? Yo, what up? I can't reach from here. Yo, they out here. Trying to get my vussy. You know what? Yeah, I could live in this hidey hole, right? Not that, not that bad, actually. I don't know about that hit, my friend. Okay, you're dead. Serves you right. Let's try and extract. Yeah. I'll come back for you. I wish I had picked up some uh, some clay so we could make some pottery tonight. It would have been nice. Um, let's get rid of these black currants. We 
We've got to survive night one. We can't die on the first night. And then tomorrow, first thing, we start building. Somewhere. Would love to know what time it was. I almost feel like this game, in my opinion, is better with the um, without the drifters, but like more of a hardcore survival experience, without having to like hide in a cave overnight. <laughs> Come back. This area looks like it might be buildable. Let's head north. I kind of just want to go outside and run. Do you think that's a good idea? I think it might be okay. Um, I do want to pick up rice seed. I mean, it's going to be a while before we can use those. I guess let's turn all of this into wood logs. And then we can pick up that uh, fiber. There we go. I think we run. I think we, we do the, the rogue rat thing and we just kind of play rec recklessly and aggressive. Bing bong. Oh shit. Shit on a cross. My name is Ross. Oh no, I'm being hit again. Shit, I don't want to go through. Okay, redemption. This is my plan all along. Okay, I want to go north. Which way is north? Um, this way. Ooh. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? As long as you don't run into like a wolf or a bear. Oh, there's a vortex. Okay. I think the sun might be rising soon. Copium. Extreme copium. Um, I'm sad that my fire didn't spread and, and destroy the whole map. Okay, let's chomp on some black currents here make sure I'm heading in the right direction yeah oh I see the remnants of a ruin here can you see that you can't see anything I can't see anything either so okay we can reinforce that ruin maybe but uh, it would be quite nice to build on a ruin like that for our first little base just till we get established and then we can go out and find a real I don't know what that noise was that's freaked me out I heard something to my uh, to my right oh dude it's like an amphitheater look at this it's it's huge it's way too big for me to live in I wonder if there's any any pots to be broken here? I think sometimes they can be buried beneath the soil. Yeah, nothing I can... Nothing I can see. Um, Over here is where I sort of wanted to maybe build. Okay, that looks like the, the moon is going... No, this must be the sun. I hope that's the sun. Something's coming up. It looks like the moon, so I'm a little bit confused. Um, yeah, I kind of want to build, like, against the water. Okay. 
Maybe an island would be cool. I think if we built on an island, it would help us against drifters. That island's a lot... Wait, there's an island apparently... Oh, this is an island. Why don't we check it out real quick? Okay, there is a tree, a single tree. How far does this go? Okay, it's pretty small. It looks like there's also another ruin. Go check that out. Remember to put our torches away so that they don't all burn out as well. Made that mistake too many times. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's also puffballs here. Nice. Delicious. Let's try and get to that. There is a lot more puffballs here. I will leave them for now. Make a famous floating rat castle. Oh, dude. You know what? Sold. This beautiful arch we would have. We'd need a shitload of dirt to, um... To fill this thing up. <laughs> But, we could start a farm here, technically. Before we have a bucket. So... Maybe. Maybe. Let's do a bit more exploring. Grab some, um... Grab some more reeds. So we can make some baskets to put down. Eat some meat. What a treat. Eat some black currant. This way looks cool, but it looks pretty far out. You know what, since I reduced the resolution, why don't we put some um some mega effects on, like, uh, shadows, low quality maybe? Maybe we can get away with this? I guess we'll see. Grab it. This time, this side as well. I'm going to call this Mushroom Island because there's a whole bunch of mushrooms here. Mushroom Island is a possibility. Stay away from that cursed thing. If I get closer to it, does my gear start spinning? Oh yeah, big time. Okay. Um... Wait, what? Need to make a new knife. I think we might just claim this island. You know? I'm going to call it Mushroom Island. I got some great uh, spear shots earlier, Frank. Start of the game, it was incredible.
Right, there goes the, the knife. Alright, beautiful. Let's use the bone. We we do need some more sticks. And then we're gonna go grab some uh some stone and some from the ruin I mean and some uh, some soil. I'm gonna make some baskets so that we can some of the stuff we found. Do these stack, by the way? They do not stack. Okay. I don't like the noise that thing makes, man. That's freaking me out. Let's build on, like, the higher point. Somewhere over here. With possibilities to do something with that. We can also make uh, a little boat as well, I think. Right. How do we put stuff in this? Can we not put stuff in this? I think I built these for no reason, right? I swear there was something we could build out of reeds. Let's check. Ah, reed chest is what I meant to... Okay, well that was a waste. Can we disassemble this? We can. It's a massive... Massive loss, but it's something. Right, hopefully we'll have enough reeds here to make a, uh, a chest. Yes, just about. Good, 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 good. All right, let's put, um, how fast does stuff perish in here? 0.52, that's good. Let's put all of our food in here for now. Not all of it, let's take some berries with us. Um, and let's also put the seeds and the pelt, the grass, the puffballs, and the flax and some yeah okay and let me mark this because i will forget where it is otherwise okay nice and bright oh there's so many reeds here who cares if we wasted some okay i want to go find some clay clay is like our top priority and we want to find some uh like nice medium quality soil so we can start a farm as ASAPly as possible. Mature turnips. Do 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 do. I think I'm just gonna rip all of these uh, turnips up because there's a chance they can still drop seeds. I think even if they're not mature. And they grow so slowly if they're not planted in a farm that it seems like a smart thing to do. Alright. Where is my clay? What are you running from? Oh! Yo. Did I grab my other spear? I'm down to one spear, I think. Um, doggy? Little doggy boy. Come this way. I dare you. I double triple dare you. Oh. Why are you not chasing me? Oh, I don't like this. Like this one bit. No more wolves, please. Okay, I think the, the wolf doesn't seem interested in me right now, which is great. Ooh, flint. Um, you, 
Can rabbits swim? It, IRL. I think... Don't rabbits hate the water? Okay, well, this is a... A dead end. So maybe let's not go this way. I think we make... Uh, let's make another spear here. I can't imagine a swimming. Uh, I can't imagine a swimming. I can't imagine a rabbit swimming. Seems kind of weird. Doesn't doesn't sit well with me, you know. I kind of want to kill this wolf and. Oi, yo, right up, yo. What are you doing, man? What? Yes, now who's got the advantage, idiot? I'm so glad that hit twice. We did it, we killed a wolf, dude. Mmm, bush meat. All right. Give me that sweet, tasty wolf meat, baby. Oh, another ruin. Wait, this is the one we found earlier. I think we can take this. Yeah, it takes friggin' forever, but we can take it. But let's start doing this. Just grab a couple, and then we're gonna go find some, um, some clay. Because that's more important right now, I think. it's raining? What do I hear? I hear something. Okay. Clay. Clay, 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 clay. A, B, clay. Give me my clay. Clay, clay. Ooh, a blueberry. And... Medium soil. Bing boil. It's medium soil. Give me this. I need this for my grow up. Alright. Don't worry about it. Don't ask why I'm growing. I forget how uh, farming, how water works in this game. Is there like a distance we need to leave between um, tilled soil and, and water? Because I don't remember. All right. Let's grab like a whole stack of this. Whole stack of the good stuff here. Is this still medium? This is still medium fertility. And then we'll make a new shovel and then we'll go find some friggin... Motherfucking clay. All right. These branchy, branchy boys. That's forest floor. I don't know what that counts as, so I'm going to leave it. You know what? 50 is enough for now. Is it following me? I don't know, dude. I don't know if it's following me. I don't hear anything. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's not go back there for a little bit. Uh, this is my island over here. This is Mushroom Island. My god, there's mushrooms everywhere. Um, clay. Clay, clay, clay. Got some sheep over there. There's sheep friggin' everywhere, dude. Um, let's build another shovel real quick. And let's friggin' chug these, uh, red currants. Red current. I don't know if I've had red current in real life. It can't be as good as black currants. It makes me real sad that Americans, they don't have Ribena in their country. They're missing out. I 
If I try to send... Frank, do you do you have black currants in Canada? Could I send you like a a Ribena drink? Or, or would it be like... Uh, would it be taken by customs? Because I want you to experience Ribena, my friend. Alright. Let the clay search commence. Also, we should probably grab some peat if we can afford it. We might be able to spot some clay on our map if we look for like a slightly lighter patch of ground with like a bluish tint to it. I've done that before. Like this is peat. It's, see it's slightly darker, slightly more brown. This looks like this could be fire clay. It put some fire in my bum, my bum 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 pur up a pum pum. Um, I don't see the blue clay, but I do see this. So let's just go like clay. That was supposed to be an exclamation point. And let's head towards that, which I think is like directly, directly south of here. You have no idea. You're the one that taught you the reason why you don't have them. Oh. Okay, is it is it all of North America? It must be. Proof. Proof that Europe is infinitely cooler. There's lots of medium fertility stuff here. I tried my best for him. Pour up a pum pum. That's a dog pup. A.K.A. a wolf. That's what I meant to say. Okay, there's a, an anus, a ghastly, ghostly anus floating there. Let's grab some more of this granite cobblestone since we're here. We got lots of sun. Oh, we're gonna have the best house ever. Just you wait. It's gonna be like Mar-a-Lago Resort. God, this takes forever. Oh my god. Oh! I don't know if we can outrun a bear. We can't outrun a bear. It's a fucking bear, dude. I'm looking at the shadows. I'm looking at the shadows. I'm looking at the shadows. I don't see a bear in my shadow. I hate this. This game sucks. I didn't grab all my cobble. Did you see the bear, like, come over? What just hit me? Oh. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what's hitting me. Is that a bear behind me? What was hitting me, dude? I have to know. Hello? I, what? What? Oh, there's a drifter over there. I see. I can just about see it. Probably was throwing stones at me. Boy, a jar. You've never seen black currant anywhere. It's a good flavor. Oh, there's a bear again. All right. I'm sorry. That's just a black bear. I could probably choke out a black bear IRL. Just give me a. Five minutes and a, a leather belt and it will be... Alright, there's some peat here. Let's mark this. Where am I? E-A-T. I know it's not spelt like that, but it's fine. It works. Give me some P-A-T. Alright, let's see if there's clay here. Mature flax. We need this. We need all of this. This all belongs to me now. Um, eat this flint shovel.
Uh, I think we grabbed... No, there's a, there's a... I don't really care too much about the flax. One cattail is fine. We can lose that. Um, yes, this is clay. Mr. Clay. It's fire clay. That's the even better clay, I think. So that's good. Some onions also. Man, we, we're out of space. We need some... We need a flax... Uh, industry ASAP mm. right what do we drop we can probably drop the low fertility soil or we drop I guess we drop the the two raw hide mediums. There's going to be plenty more hide in our future. And since we're not close to having a leather working industry yet. I'm okay with that. How the hell do we fire clay? I've completely forgotten. Right, we're full. Let's just eat the soil, dude. Nearly at two full stacks. Should keep us going for a little while. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Um, probably should start heading back. Since we are full of... Since we're full of loot. Um, just be careful. Eat some of these uh, red current. We can try and get a, a farm going on our second day. I feel like that's pretty good. Where did that bear go? He's there. Okay. Let's grab a little more of this if we can. Keeping our eyes on the bear. We'll just grab the surface stuff and then we'll go. I haven't seen any copper yet. Uh, I think we can like... Yeah, we can pin this. Cool. Hey, uh, uh, Frank, are you, uh, are you still here, by the way? Did you see, um... Well, you definitely did. Did you see the, uh, the, the ping? Uh, what is this? This is Pete. I banned I banned anybody on the server from um, from do from doing pinging. I was like, no. I would like to know how old this person is. I'm a bit confused by that. You know what I mean? A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. Get rid of the flax grain. Nobody cares about the flax grain. Alright. Mr. Sheep. 
Yeah, exactly. I feel yeah, exactly, Frank. It's um it's confusing. Oh bloody hell, mate, he's got me some turnips. I'm gonna have the world's best turnip farm and everybody's gonna want a piece of the action, I'm gonna say no. Get the hell away from my turnip farm, loser. Where did we see the wolf? The wolf was over there, wasn't it? Mr. Rabbit Friend, lend me your flesh. Bomb, 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 bomb. God damn it. It said, lend me your flesh. Bing bong. All right. 1372. Yeah, that yeah that that really made me laugh. I know who it was who replied. It was a uh, it was Garth Lasagna. Uh, that was a great reply. <laughs> it's just, just okay. <laughs> so good. Nice work. Gave me a good old giggle. Oh, there's some Pete here. Mm, mm, mm. Give me the funk. Give me the funk. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Um, you reckon we could start reinforcing this structure and making it waterproof, or just turning it into a big farm, like a like a like an open. I don't know. We could just build a little house over here. Let's, um, yeah, everything's looking good here. Um, these can go in here, they'll last slightly longer. Flax, you can go there, my friend. We need to plant this flax quickly. Quite far away to have a farm from the house. Unless we build the house like right here, possibly. I think we'll get left less drifters because they'll um I assume they can't spawn in water. Oh, but look at our um look at our gear here. This is a bad bad place. With a bad Bad vibes only in this place. Um, is there a way for me to see that? Yeah, 99%. What do you want to reply anyways other than okay? What do you think was the best possible answer in that person's mind? Yeah, I, I, I really don't... I don't know. Um, really don't know. Right, we're building here, it looks like. So, uh, let's build a little, uh... There's a rabbit running underwater there, that's fucked up. Where's a good place to build a farm? Guess it doesn't really matter, does it? May as well start here then, I guess. Um... Tell me about farming. Because I've forgotten. Okay, planting crops within three blocks. Okay, understood. Roger. This looks okay. Is there is there a way to get your... I noticed over here that our cog was spinning forward. Oh my god, scared the crap out of me, dude. When did the pigs get here? You know what, I'm going to say F it. Let's just build our farm over here. Since it'll be cool. Then we can build a little bridge. I don't give a hoot about drifters. Give a honking hoot. 
Let's do it like this. Let's go one, two, leave a space. One, two, leave a space. One, two, leave a space. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll do it. We'll just do the edges first. And then we'll build it inwards. Is this a good technique? I don't know. But now I want to go there, and then I want one like here. And then we'll go like here. And again, we're doing we're doing like one, two, three now. So we leave a space. We go one, two. Is this right? I don't freaking know, man. Kind of makes sense. We're making little S's, so let's get rid of this. Just because this is on a um, on a corner, it, it kind of throws things out a little bit, but that's fine. We'll put you there. We can remove this one. We, we have broken physics. That means then we go there and there. I think. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want that to happen, though. I think this is good. All right, let's go make a hoe. Sounds like it would make sense in Minecraft. You expect the same. What are you what are you playing at the moment, Frank? Are you still playing um, FTL? How are you finding it? Let's try this out. Very satisfying. I've been playing some Zero Steve race recently. It's a lot of fun. It's a good game. Underrated, I think. Hey, first time chatter. So Pyroli. Do you know why Santa don't make tools for farming in, in Vintage Story? No, tell me why. Why doesn't Santa make farming tools in Vintage Story? Could I do a drum roll? There goes our pick. Okay, we got good NPK here. So we need flax. Flax is everything. Also have some turnip, uh, which also which uses N. Whereas this is a K, so we should plant this. Let's plant this uh, like starting from from over here, maybe. Keep them separate for now. Definitely need more seeds. He always got them ho ho hoes. Oh my god. Slash ban Sir Pyroli. <laughs> that was that was that was I knew I knew I I was trying to like I was thinking, hmm. I should have known ho ho ho. That's good. I like that. Welcome. <laughs> you played the hell out of FTL this weekend. You loved it. 
No animations, no screens, just mechanics. Yeah, right? There's no, there's no, like... There's no, like, external garbage. It's just pure gameplay and really well-developed mechanics. I think that's the game that kind of started the whole, like, what I what I call the Slay the Spire um, thing, where they do the map that's like a web. But I think that was the first game to, to do that. At least that I'm aware of. All right. Let's try and do some clay forming and hopefully not get harassed by uh by a bunch of uh drifters. Okay. First thing we want is a cooking pot, right? Just one. Really love the crafting system in this game. It's the DJ put a record on. Shut up, pig. Stone Shard is so good. It's kind of like Magi oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to pick it up. Absolutely. Ooh. Whilst it's on sale. That's one of the games I look for most um, on sale sites to see if it's on sale. And it hardly ever is. So I think it would be silly to not get it. Now let's get a little fire going. Yeah, we got we got some friends over here. Um, I want to grab some peat as well. I want to start making fires with peat because it's way easier to get and a lot more efficient. gonna need some wood because I think we need to make a fire pit right to to get this clay going yeah we need to make a pit kiln okay Okay, let's make a pit pit kiln like uh I don't know, down here maybe. Where did uh, one of my torches go? It's right there. Okay. Um oh my god, shut up. Clear some of this grass out so I don't set the whole island on fire. As fun as that would be. I lit this for no reason. Oh no, I didn't. I wanted to cook up the... Uh... Okay. Alright. We'll do... We'll do like four... Four holes. Put that there for now. These pigs are our bodyguards, by the way. That's why there's, there's been no drifters, because uh, we got pig patrol. We need uh, some croc bots. It's by the way. Oh my god, you keep... For some reason, the pig model looks kind of like a wolf to me. It keeps throwing me off. 
What are you running from? You're making me nervous. Alright. We got our meat. Let's cook up the bush meat that we picked as well. What temperature does this cook at? 150. I hope that that's good enough. Alright. Is there any other games that have a kind of voxel crafting system like this? I remember there used to be a game called... Um, what was it called? It was called like Pixel... Damn, what was it called? It came out like over a decade ago and it was kind of in development hell for a while. It's a bit like Minecraft but it was voxel based. The name is completely escaping me. Done yet. Couple more pieces of wood here should do us. It's block games that create something useful. That's what makes oh, that's what makes um, vintage store unique. Yeah, voxels are cool. Give me voxels in my game. All right, there's some crock pots. Shut up. Your name, you're a sow. Are you a, you're also a sow. Where's the, where's the boar? Yeah, the boar. Where's the man pig? Show me the man pig. Alright, one more, one more piece of wood maybe will do it. Uh, now we need bowls. Let's make four of those. Weep, weep. Yeah. Oh, the sun's coming up. You know what? Mushroom Island is safe. Guaranteed safe. From the horrors. What do we want to do today on our third day? I think we want to go and get more seeds as a priority. And maybe start picking some berry bushes and moving them over here. As a little uh, impromptu food source. That's a raccoon. No raccoons allowed on this island. Where did the raccoon go? You're going to eat my berries. Um, let's try and get this cooked up. We know we need way more grass. You know X4 Foundations that you build your ship with voxels? Yeah, there's a few games that let you build um, with voxels like that, but but in normally it's on a much bigger scale, right? Like it's not it's not necessarily for crafting. It's more for like like you said, building ships and things like that. I thought the sun was coming up. Must have hallucinated. I think there's like a shitload of quartz buried uh, beneath us. We're gonna need that for a while, I don't think. Right, let's uh. Need to go and grab some sticks after this. This seems like a waste. Is there anything we can build? Not really. Let's build like... Let's build a couple more crocs just to be efficient. Yeah, that'd be good. Shouldn't be wasteful here with our um, 
precious, precious resources at this point. I feel like Minecraft needs sculpting. Yeah, so I was I um I was reading uh, a thing about how you know Minecraft is owned by Microsoft now. Um and it's kind of like a golden goose, right? Where it just it's still making like an obscene amount of money. Um every year it makes like hundreds of millions still. And you know, the game's been out now for like what 12 13 years. Um and Microsoft are very hesitant to let Mojang change anything about the game, mechanically speaking. Which is why they still get new blocks added occasionally, but mechanically, I don't know if we'll ever see anything like that in Minecraft. Minecraft's still the best when it comes to just building for the sake of building. But, um, what the hell was that? You can't tell me that this isn't part horror. Vintage Story is like... It's a low-key horror game. Right, good, good, good. Let's build the lid. Okay. There we go. Let's fill these up. And then go grab some sticks. Yeah, we need eight sticks, I think, for each. Chug this, uh, bush meat. Now we'll store it for now, you know. In fact, you know what? Whilst it's dark, let's grab a some more reeds. We've got chickens and pigs here. That's kind of lucky. Let's gather some more reeds and try and build another basket. Hey, it's to Seb. How you doing, man? Good to have you back as always. How was your weekend? Emilio Estevez. Are you Emilio Estevez? Isn't that Charlie Sheen's real name? Remember when he was uh, the meme of like 2010 or whenever it is that he did the tiger blood thing? Maybe 2012. Probably later than that. Right, there's another basket. What did we use there? 24. We need 8. So 8. 8 times 3. Yeah, that would be 24. Okay. Cool. Let's put everything that we don't need on us right now away. We'll keep the bones. And, uh, yeah, I think we just, uh, just go grab some branches. So we can get this show on the road here. Branchy leaves. May as well grab the, uh, I mean, this is oak. Um, oak's pretty valuable. Let's leave that for now. Start clearing the island a little bit. Good to be here as always. This vintage Minecraft, it is indeed. It's Minecraft, but more so. Have you played Vintage Story before? Sorry, Mr. Pig. What was that? Oh, that's a red currant bush. Okay, cool. Right. 
Ja, ah. Alright, we do have some seeds. Which is nice. Um, swear to God, these pigs. Okay. First time seeing it. Oh, okay. Um, do you know what it is? It's like a hardcore survival focused voxel game. It looks similar to Minecraft, but it looks much better than Minecraft, let's be honest. You'll see when the sun comes up. Um, also, we should remove this torch from our offhand here. Okay, we got a maple seed as well. Um, super hardcore. Takes a long time to get like, you know, move from like the stone age into the, the copper age or the, the tin age. Okay, good. Now we just grab some peat. Grab him by the peat. Um, there's some peat over here, I believe. Where was it? Here we go, this is Pete. Love me some Pete. Delicious. It goes great with a pasta. There's 34 pieces of Pete. 34 pieces of Pete on the floor. 34 pieces of Pete. Only 14 more days and you're done with work for 2023. Hell yeah, brother. What are you doing for Christmas? Right, let's get these lit and hope that no piggies step on it. Pit kiln. Come on, firelighter, you can do it. We're getting real hungry here as well. So today we want to find uh, as many seeds as possible, grab some berry bushes, bring them over, start building a base. And also hopefully we don't set this island on fire. Oh, We've set the island on fire. Um, It's fine. Good. I think I put it out in time. Perfect, dude. I was never worried. We good? Alright, we good. Are you alive? Yes. Okay. Uh, I kind of like having these pigs around. It makes me feel a bit more... Um, I don't know. Makes it feel a little less desolate, you know? Let's plant these seeds before we head out. Have a maple as well. Where's the maple? There it is. Okay, let's just put this here. Okay, we need to eat ASAP. And we can also start stacking up some peat here to save some inventory space. Doesn't matter where we put this for now. Let's eat our meat. And these berries don't have much longer. Well, they are off. Mm, eating, obviously. Do you uh, do you like go home to see family, or do you stay at yours? I always go and um, spend Christmas with my grandparents. If anybody sees any seeds, if anybody sees any seeds or any um, that's a raccoon. You must perish, my friend. I'm sorry. I I think you're cute as hell, IRL. But um, oh here we go, some turns. That's what we call turnips in the biz. Beautiful stuff. We'll cook those up soon. It's gonna be delicious. Likewise, we have some spelt. Whoever spelt it, dealt it. 
as we say. Also, we need to grab some more, um, some more medium soil. Uh, All right. Rabbits around here just love. Bing bong, I never missed. Apart from that one time. One grandma is living with you though, so is that, but you go visit the other one as well. Nice. I freaking love Christmas, man. I don't, I don't like the music, the music shit, but uh, I love Christmas itself. The food, the the family. It's a good time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still have to deal with the bullshit that we all do of, uh, you know, having family members that say some real dipshit things. I probably already looted that. You know that maybe they don't align with you politically, but you know what? We all have to deal with that, so. It is what it is. Plus, I'm old enough now where I could probably beat up everybody in my family if a fight breaks out. So, so there's that as well. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. What is that? That's a, that's a bear. It's a bear killing a goat. No, actually, kill the goat so I can loot. I can try and. This is stupid. Kill the goat so I can try and steal the, uh, steal the kill. He's a bear boy. He's looking for fun. He's a bear boy. He's gonna run. Where did he kill that, um... Where did he kill the goat? Did he kill the goat? Did it run away? This place is cursed. I'm kind of tempted. Let's do a mass burn. Yes, this place is about to become a hellhole. It's all because of me. I think the goat may have gotten away. All right, let's let that burn. What do you want, huh? It's a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The worst Christmas song ever written. Uh, you'd like to experience Christmas like it's shown in older American movies where you actually can feel the Christmas spirit. Because to be honest, I like Christmas, you just don't feel it. I think that's just an age thing. Is to Sev, I, I, I experience the same. Like, I feel like as you get older, it just kind of loses the... The charm it has when you're a kid. Also, it very rarely snows in December in the UK anymore. We normally get snow in, like, February time. So that doesn't help. Right, we do need this uh, medium soil here, so let's grab some. Hey, T-Rex. What's poppin'? How you doing, my dude? Good to have you back, as always. You have a fair share of crazies down here. That was your ex-girlfriend. She would ruin your side of family Christmas because hers was ruined. Yeah. Yo, spam heat. Long time no see, my dude. How how are you doing? It's been a while, huh? I still remember you. You got a blast ding dong by George Harrison. I freaking love anything by George Harrison. My favorite beetle. An underrated beetle for sure. Love me some traveling Wilburys as well. If you guys haven't listened to the Wilburys, very much recommend that you do. Great band in their own right. It's a. It was like I think the traveling Wilburys might have been the first like supergroup. You've got Jeff Lynne from ELO, Bob Dylan, Roy Orbison, um, George Harrison, and who was the last guy? Last guy was... He's super famous. He died recently. Tom Petty. Yes. Spam heat. 
Good game choice. Hope you're well. I am doing well, thank you very much. And I hope the same for you. I hope you're living your, your best life. Yeah, I think it's probably been a... Since it was... You were one of the first people, I think, that, that tuned in after I started streaming. So that was probably like a good eight, nine months ago. You're seeing snow pellets at the moment. You're you're in um you're in a uh, thingy as well, aren't you? Um, in British not British Columbia, sorry, Vancouver. Did you guys um? Has all of the fires and stuff stopped over there now? Surely, right? I remember you had like really bad forest fires a few months back. That was insane. All right, we need um we need seeds. Hmm. You know who I friggin' love? I love me I love me some Roy Orbison. I feel like there isn't many people in my generation that appreciate Roy Orbison, but he's got an incredible voice. He also had a very tragic life, which makes me like him even more. Good memory. Yeah, fire season is over until next year. Man, I'm so glad we don't have to deal with anything like that where I am. Is that a bear? Oh! There's a wolf and a bear. A wolf and a bear. Is it behind me? Because I'll smack it. I ain't scared of a wolf. The bear, definitely, but... This place stinks. I, I need to burn all of this down. I don't want to get too far from base because I want... This place is infested. It's actually infested with bears. Okay, I need to pick a direction here, a heading, and, and stick to it. Let's go south. Uh, Chanterelle. We can eat Chanterelle. This is for you, Chantel. Have you guys seen that video? Can I show you a video real quick on YouTube? It's the most insane thing. Me and my friend reference it all the time. This is for you, Chantel. You know the video I'm talking about? Probably not. It didn't get the uh, the attention it deserved, in my opinion. We do need more wood, so let's grab some maple. Is that a dog? Dude, if that first spear would have hit, this guy would have already been running. You little bugger, you stinky little fuck. Oh, you attract Canadians. Yeah, everybody is. Can I think I think Canada probably makes up a bigger portion of my chat than any other. You're like a you're like a disease. No offense. Um, grab this. Drop the birch seed. Perfect. Go Habs, go. Oh, okay, yeah, let me show you the video real quick. Uh, this is a little bit of a segue, but I think you guys will enjoy this. This is for you, Chantel. Yeah, I would love to go to Canada. Canada's one of my all-time, like, favourite countries that I would, uh, if I could go anywhere. This is for you, Chantel. That was the video. Hold on. Um. I'm trying to find the original. It's a bunch of reactions to it. Okay, I think I found it. 
Yeah, okay. Hold up. Okay. Um, here we go. Let me unmute the browser here. Let's go to uh, browser source. You guys ready for a banger? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to enable the... Um, the browser source, bear with me one moment. Here we go. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for real this time? Okay, Chantel. I'm at it again. You see the nest up there? I'm going to go up the ladder. There's a little one here. I just killed. These are wasps. This is that a wasp now nest. Everybody up there anxious and they all have the tail. Have to be careful, it's a big hive. So let me see how I'll do this. I'll go in. I'll grab every last one. It's here. Look them here. Every last man. That's for you, Chantel. <laughs> Every last man. That's for you, Chantel. Yeah, that guy specked into poison resistance. Big time. Anyway, just a little video I thought you might want to see. It's a classic, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get back to Vintage Story. Okay, this is for you, Chantel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You'd love to go to Canada to beat the shit out of one kick streamer. Wait, what? He really is the Bob Ross of wasp crushing. <laughs> I don't know. I think that guy was just mental. I think he just doesn't... I was going to chop down some trees, weren't I? I like how he goes, every last man. I'm like, dude, this guy is an alpha. He's a he's a sigma. Oh yeah, we need to drop. Get this hell out of here. Gonna be wood rich, wood rich. <laughs> All the wolf dead for you. Why would I want to kiss your premier? Are we talking about Justin Trudeau? Justin Trudeau. He plays the game of Ludo. Okay, we need we need friggin' seeds, okay? Don't Was there a, I think there was a, was there a bear around here earlier? Oh yeah, he's running. That's right. Get the hell out of here, you friggin' loser. What a wimp. Okay, more spell. I think we have some spell. Um, again, we need to be dropping. Um, what do we drop? Let's drop the low fertility soil for now. We can make porridge from this. Okay, I'm tempted. Let's let's run back, dump some stuff, since we've got a couple stacks of uh of good stuff. And then whilst the sun is still out, we, we can come back 
Here we go, we've got some turnips here. Good, good, good. All the seeds. Flax. Okay, this is perfect. We do need flax. Flax is like the most important thing. Love it. We got the seed, I think, out of all of that. Um, let's drop the... I guess we have to drop the fat, which is a shame. Hate this. I'm so indecisive. Drop, drop a flint spear. And this is still here later. I will come back for it. I'm going to mark it right here. Okay, let's be quick. Did we pick everything up? I think it will probably despawn, but if we're quick, maybe it won't. Okay, Chantel. Shit, I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, we can eat the fat. Uh, well, maybe it'll still be there. I should have done that. You're absolutely right. Where do you get this game? It is not on Steam, no. You just go to their... You, you buy it off their website. Um, It's still in very active development. It gets like a big update every few months. Or every every six months, I guess, to a year. Um, Lots of content. Lots of stuff I haven't seen. I've only really played into the... Uh, the Iron Age on my main save. But that was a while ago and I, I haven't... I was playing the mode that doesn't have the monsters in it. I was playing Homo Sapien mode. Um, which is a lot more survival focused. It's a very pretty game though. There, there are times in this game where it's just like, wow. Okay. Um, Flax goes here. Some turnips in here, I think. We need to build a cellar soon so we can preserve our food better. Our seeds in there for now. No, let's put the red meat in there, sorry. I think we just need to build another basket, don't we? Yeah. Is this still flaming? It is. Good, good, good. My god, there's pigs everywhere. Maybe we should call this, uh... Pig Island, instead of Mushroom Island. I think the game is around 20, 20 pounds, twenty dollars, that sort of price. I would, I would say it's worth it. That's not what I wanted to build. Shit, I wanted to build a knife. this? Chanterelle. This is for you, Chanterelle. Okay. And then, um, in probably, like, half hour, I'm going to do a little bit more card of our, um, cryo kinesis build. Go freeze some peeps. What, 20 for... Okay, we can make one basket right now. Beautiful.
can make one more basket, I'll be very happy. And then with any luck, tonight we can do our actual uh, first real meal prep. We can make some actual meals. Instead of eating berries like a friggin... Rabbit or something. I don't know. I don't know what eats berries. <laughs> Probably lots of shit. A bird. There you go. Birds eat berries. Okay. We'll make one more basket, then we'll head back out. Try and grab some more seeds if we can. And we can make our farm plot bigger tonight also. Okay, we need six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, wait. It's 24, right? Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. Looks like the sun's about to go down, and we still might have like five, ten minutes or so of exploration before we have to leave. Now there's goats here. Dude, this this is a paradise island. Fuck everything down here. It's annoying. Uh, chuck wood in here, seeds, anything that we don't need on us right now. Beautiful. And then before we go, let's grab a quick snack. Form us some delicious, delicious bush, bush meat. George W. Bush meat. Okay. Where have we not been yet? We haven't been to the other side of this place at all. Uh, let's try to go back to this waypoint. See if we can grab the stuff that we dropped. Canadian bacon. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping one of the pigs accidentally wanders into the, the fire. Crispy, crispy bacon, crispy, crispy bacon, crispy, crispy bacon, crispy, crispy bacon. My god, the bears in this game are terrifying. That bear did run from us earlier, though. <gasps> this is a fruit tree. I gotta mark this. This is, like, a good find, right? Um... Apple tree. Um, are we heading in the right? Yes, it's like this way. Directly into the bear, I think. Which is cool. Super cool. That's a dead rabbit. No, that's a dead lamb. I didn't kill that. That was a bear kill. Let me see if I can scavenge. It's just a lamb, so it might not have... Yeah, it just has a pelt. I'm not going to pick those up for now. Yo, what up? Take better care of your lambs, dingus. Okay, more peat here. Oh, yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. I love the spear throws. This game is all about throwing spears as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah, our stuff's still here. Beautiful. Alright. Um Well we can certainly grab some peat. If we don't if we don't find anything else, we can get some of that. Otherwise. Grab some red currants. Let's hoff those down. Mr. Red Current Man. Okay, some more turnips. Yes. We're going to have the best turnip farm ever, dude. We're going to be living like a like a medieval trader. Just farming turnips, selling them, eating them. Uh, let's get our sticks in order. We're going to need plenty of those. I love the noise. Such a satisfying noise. 
Do I hear bees? I heard bees. It's dead. It's dead. I wonder what killed it. I mean, I love that it's dead, but also I'm terrified. Maybe we should, uh... We shouldn't wait around to find out. Probably a bear, knowing my luck. Yeah, I think we're good. Like this. Seeds. No seeds. Haven't seen a single copper nugget yet, which makes me sad. Are you dead also? No, you're alive. Here we go, this is something. This is rye. Hey, this is good, this is good. I think tomorrow I will try and grab some berry bushes as well to bring over. But today we just go for actual seeds if we can get them. Okay, we have a we have a nice little stash. Takes a long time for things to grow. So the earlier we get our farm up and running, the better. Um probably don't have time to to go explore this. This is all kind of uh, on the other side of that big pond near us. Yeah, there's there's ruins um there's ruins all over the place. There's massive underground caverns that spawn. They've they've got like uh these weird creatures in them called drifters and you see that like little cog above the uh the menu, above the hot bar. If that starts spinning backwards, it means you're about to get like invaded, I guess almost. I think every few days you do actually get an invasion. From enemy drifters. You can turn all of this off. But um, yeah there's lots of really deep exploration. There's traders. There's caravans you might come across as well. We spawned kind of near a caravan. Alright we're back at our. Um, our clay deposit. Yeah if I. If. There's a there's some ruins. This here is a ruin. You can see this is like foundations. There's also a ruin that spawned where I'm making my farm at the moment. And they they sometimes have pots that you can smash that drop stuff. Ah. This is for you, Chanterelle. Grab these. With any luck we'll be able to cook these up tonight in a in some kind of delicious mushroom stew. Let's start heading back. Because I'm the tax man. Oh, dude. Large bite marks. Probably a bear. I'm not scared of a bear though. Let's burn this place down. Hopefully it spreads better this time. Hello. Not seeing any more crops, wild crops growing. 
I know there will be some because they're friggin' everywhere, but I don't see any. It's getting dark, Jet. We gotta get home. Those rams are probably the deadliest enemy in my opinion. Case in point, he just rammed me for nothing. I want to come back for that ram and I'm going to ruin its life. Trust me. Um... You know what's really good in this game? Is just the ambient um, sound. Like the wind blowing in the background. We are blessed by the turnip right now. It's actually crazy. We encountered a wolf somewhere. Not far from here. But then again, I'm really bad at directions in video games. I'm great in real life. But in video games, it just doesn't translate for some reason. Alright, I think we head back to, to base now. And we, uh, we start cooking and planting and all that good stuff. Back to Mushroom Island. Make sure we put our torches away before we go in the water. How do I look at my... oops. How are we doing here? Nutrition's good. Current rift activity is calm. Okay. These goats give me hassle. I'm killing every last one. Every last man. This is for you, Chantel. Alright, let's swap out this torch before it burns out. Get the hell away from my campfire. Okay, this is still cooking. Shouldn't be much longer. Um, Let's keep our food in this basket so it spoils slower. Fresh for one day. Let's combine some of these. And then tonight, we will cook up some of our vegetables and some of our... Uh, some of our mushrooms. Grab all the seeds. I think we have some fat on us. Yep, let's keep all of that there. Do a quick bit of organizing here. Two days, one point two days. Okay, we got a little bit of time. And put the chanterelles in there as well. This, this is going to be our, our temporary food storage. Okay, we have a lot of different seeds, which is nice. How long till these go off? Two, two days. Okay. Cool. Let's go plant. Um, let's take some additional medium fertility soil with us as well. We unequip those torches. Wait. Our flax died there for some reason. 
Why did it die? Turnips are doing fine. So let's keep planting them over here. I would like to expand in that direction. Turnips. Um, there it is. Okay. Get the hell out of here, dude. All right. Yeah, I don't know why the um. I don't know why our um, our flax died. That's really sad because that's like the most important thing that we need right now. We do like a 50-50 flax and turnip here. Maybe because this doesn't get... It might have gotten too cold possibly. Tonight we dine. I hope so. Be nice to have a real meal. Okay, let's put some more. Um... So this is a ruin, Istisev. Um, this is one of the ruins that spawned. I'm just putting down some farmlands because we don't have a bucket yet. So I'm just kind of building it over the water for now. Making this kind of zigzag S shape, which isn't, I don't think it's very efficient, but it looks cool and I like it. So, We can start planting some other stuff since we have plenty of different seeds. I should probably look into what temperatures and things these seeds require, but I'm just going to plant them and hope for the best. Because I'm cool. stuff that will do for now i think especially because we're out of flint and our hoe is about to break and i'm about to break can you explore it um I could if it wasn't filled with water. I think if I dug below the surface down here, we would find um, some hidden pots with seeds and tools and things in. You do drown pretty quickly, so... Okay, there goes the hoe. So these use... These are a K crop. Do we have any other K crops? These are P. These are K. The rice. Those are N, N, and P. Okay. Okay, rice seems pretty s sturdy, so let's plant some rice, like, here, for now, at the side of the, what I will leave for the flax. We'll go up to here for the rice. It looks messy for now, but it, it will make sense later on. And then the turnips are end crops. We can go for rye or spelt, 
I think we go for spelt makes porridge, right? Like good porridge. So let's do that. The side of the turnips. Um, let's just put the uh, the rye down as well. And once we get into uh, once we start getting some actual crops come through, we can organize the farm a bit better. Uh, these onions, I'm just gonna put here for now. Good luck, everybody. Okay, we're about to starve, so we need to go and eat. Why did you go out? I only just put you down. Huh? Did it rain? Oh no, please don't be raining. All of our torches are burnt out. Good news. Right, we need to eat, like, right now. Just in the nick of time there. Looks like the sun might be coming up soon. Okay. Yeah, everything burnt out. That's kind of worrying. Still, things. These all got cooked. We now have bowls, crock pots, and a cooking pot. Amazing. Killed by another creature. What is this? How? Who? Who killed you, my friend? I mean, thank you. I mean, if there's a bear on this island, we are screwed. You have a lot of tasty, uh, tasty meat, though. Maybe the pig killed it somehow. Anyway, who cares? The important thing is... Get this the hell out of here. We now have... Friggin, we'll need to build a cellar to keep our food stored for longer, but we have an actual way to cook meals now, so let's do that. Put this stuff down on the floor for now. Chuck the cooking pot on here. Let's cook up some turnip. Some some red meat. Red meat, I think, gives a lot of. We go like six. No, no, no. We have to go five, five. Five servings of red meat stew with boiled turnip. Sounds good to me. We can eat one right away. Need to throw some uh, some wood on there. You know what? We can use um, heat, I think. Wait, are all of my toys... What is happening with my torches? Did they change the way that torches work? Am I missing something? I... I'm very confused. As to why my torches burnt out. 
in my uh, inventory. We relight torches. Oh, we can. Okay, incredible. Right, let's just quickly relight all of our torches that burnt out. They must have got, like, wet somehow. Even though I placed them down. I don't think it rained, so I don't think it's that. Anyway, doesn't matter. getting there. This is going to be a really hearty meal. I'm I'm just double checking now. I'm I'm kind of nervous that that ram was killed by something. Must have been a boar. There's so many boars over here. I think there's enough ambient heat here to keep cooking this. We can keep an, an eye on it. Oh, maybe something came out of here. There's a bunch of animals down there. I also think I see some onions. Let's go rescue, uh, rescue the onions before we go. to sneeze. <sighs> I think this might have enough to just about cook itself. I do hate babysitting it, but I think we need to. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, the sun's about to come up again. Ah, uh, there we go. Five servings of red meat stew with boiled turnip. So, first thing I want to do is grab a crock pot here. And we now have a crock pot full of um red meat stew four servings there kind of want to put it underground and this is our fifth serving which i'm just going to eat right now look at that all the way to the top so we're going to want to build hold up we're going to want to build a cellar around here before I think we even start on the, the house, we should start building a cellar. So, oops. So let's do that. Hey, Wishcraft for you too. First time chatter, welcome. What's the in-game date? Um, Day four. 4th of May. Let's build like a little temporary cellar type location down here. Although we can't obviously mine rock just yet. This is this is better than nothing, you know. Just make sure we remember where the hell this is. I'm going to just cut that little bit of sand out. Because I don't think you can use doors. I think cellars with doors get ruined, if I remember correctly. 
Could be wrong about that. Keep that there. I think that technically works as a cellar. Did this in a really weird way. Grab that. And let's just put that there. That should be good enough, right? If you like this game, it's chill AF. Yeah, it is very... It is chill, but there are moments where it gets, like, incredibly cursed. And terrifying. And those are my favourite. Like, when you... Okay, we gotta deal with these. this ram. This ram's gonna be an issue. Oh my god, they all come for me, huh? Yo! Oh my god, what did I do? Even the baby's trying to join in. Keep running, keep running. Grab the spears. Did you grab the second spear? Are you coming for me? Where's the ram? I specifically have a vendetta against the ram. Look how much health that did. I'm dead. <laughs> Our first death. That's not so bad. We spawn... We spawn not that far away. There's our first death right there. I didn't know that the U's would attack as well. Yeah, I should have outswum them. You're right. Um, or I could have made like one more spear. Probably would have gone a long way. Speaking of spear, we should keep an eye out for some flint here. Never have too much flint. Also, some turnips. Thank you all. So, because we died, we lost all of our hunger that we had just refilled from that meal, which is really quite tragic. Um, and I think we lose any, um, okay, that bar's gone for some reason. I guess we won't be seeing that again. Okay, it's raining here. I wonder if it's raining on the island. Oh yeah, it's definitely raining on the island. Which means we're going to have to keep all of our fire stuff covered because it's going to burn out otherwise and that's going to suck right. first thing first I loot oh my god what What happened to you? No, we didn't kill this. Now I know what killed the um, the sheep. This was not me that killed this bear. I can't even kill a friggin' goat, so... Where's the ram? Alright, he's running. He knows. Okay, don't panic, Ross. I'm panicking. Panicking Skywalker. Alright, give me the... 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe if the, with the U gone, the uh, sorry, with the Ram gone, the U's will chill out. I I think that's what happened. I think maybe the sheep somehow killed a bear, which is crazy. But that's what I think actually may have happened. <laughs> well, mystery solved. It's just weird to see the bear just like <laughs> lying under the water. It's kind of terrifying, actually. Um, I just heard a wolf. I think. Did anyone else just hear a wolf? Like barely, barely perceptible, but definitely, definitely a wolf. Right, we, we do have a lot of hide building up, which is kind of nice, if a bit annoying. We can make, um, we can make some more s stew here, I think. Got a couple more onion seeds, a few more turnip seeds. Got 10 pieces of meat. Anything that's going to go off very soon. Just the meat, really. We should probably make a meat stew in that case. Let's do that. Let's eat the rest of this. And let's get another meat stew going since the, the fresh meat spoils really quick. And let's add, do we have anything that we can add? Not really. I think mushrooms count as vegetables in this game, so we might be able to get away with adding um... Yes, we can. Let's add the Chantel. This is for you, Chantel. Okay. There we go. We got, we got some tasty food now, ready to go. Do a quick rearranging of the inventory. Get rid of that quartz chunk, it's annoying. Uh, Alright, it looks like we're good. So, get this cooking. They have a chance to look and listen. This game seems cool. It's really cool, Rune Rays. It's um, it's a fun. Um, I think it's inspired specifically by uh, there used to be a mod called Terra Firma Craft. Um, but this has its all. This has a completely uh, separate like game engine. It uses voxels. Uh, really cool crafting. Really cool survival aspects. I definitely recommend it. It's definitely worth the money. There's lots of this game that I haven't seen. Um. But what I have seen, I do kind of love. So we should be making the most of the daylight here. Once we kind of need to babysit this, which is unfortunate. I should have probably made this a little bit later. Let's start storing some of our dirt in here. We can also start making porridge fairly soon. I think we also have a piece of leather in here that we can put to this chest. This seems to be our kind of weird leather chest. Uh, turnips go in here. Seeds will go and plant these. How's this doing? It's about halfway done. That's fine. I also want to go check that our cellar is working. You put so many hours into Terra Firma Craft, it's not even funny. Yeah, that was a really popular mod. Really well done mod as well. I remember playing it a long time ago and I had a blast. Yeah, what keeps killing our flax? Ah, uh, eaten by wild animals. Alright. Well then, new priority. 
We need to go and make a friggin' fence. Like, right now. That's gonna be our job for the day. Friggin' animals, dude. Yeah, let's go build a fence. I assume they couldn't get there, but they can swim, so that was my bad. That was really stupid. How's this doing? I think that'll be fine. Um, I got some wood somewhere, right? Yeah. How do we make fences again? There's also, if you press H, it opens up the, the handbook, and you can just search stuff. Um, need to build the ugly fence, since that's all we can really afford here. Uh, these are made by two sticks, two logs, and an axe. Let's see if 48 is enough. Okay, and then let's preserve this in our cellar. Which hopefully is working as a seller. I guess we'll find out now. Fresh for eight days. I think that means it's kind of working. We would need to replace all of this with stone if we wanted it to be an effective seller. But um, for now, that's fine. That'll do the job. Okay, let's go protect these crops. Yeah, look, I think I see... No, I don't. Never mind. I should be killing these rabbits, though. Damn it. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Alright, let's, let's try this. Just build directly over this? Yeah, we can. Beautiful. think this is going to be anywhere near enough fence. God damn it. Which is our fault for building such a large farm, but I will get this all sealed. I guarantee it. And I'm going to put a little gate in, like here. Yeah, okay, so let's go grab as much wood as we can, because... That is what we're going to need. What is this? This is maple. We can go find some maple. Remember, rabbits may spawn on any non-tilled grassy dirt tile. Okay. Good to know. I will make sure... I'm going to grab wood, and I'm going to till every single tile in there. That is our new thing. Forget about finding, like, resources today. This raccoon's going to steal my food as well. You dead? No. Let's go find some uh, some maple, because I, I do want the fences to be consistent. I don't want it to look ugly, even though it is, by definition, the ugly... Rough strewn fence. Um, it's important that it looks nice, you know? I think this may be maple. It is. Alright, let's get chopping. They can also swim under fences. The Verlian. First time chat. Welcome. That is a good uh, piece of info. I will make sure to fill in any gaps below the fences. I do have a bunch of cobblestone that I um, that I found. 
put it to use. This is a big tree. Gotta make sure we get the sticks as well. I think this may break our axe, but that's fine. We can make a new one. Oh yeah, I do know about breaking the branchy leaves. Um, that is a good tip though, thank you. I think for now I just want to make... Okay, we got it, we got it mostly done there. But yeah, we may, we may want to actually break the branchy leaves actually, because eight sticks is not enough. Are we out of flint? No, we're not out of flint right there god I love the crafting so good uh, we can use a bone for an axe I think yes yeah let's start breaking some branchy leaves Come on. Come on. There we go. Um Little branchy leaves. Beautiful. Oh, there's a ruin here as well. Any other people here play with dirt, gravel, and sand falling? Yeah, wishcraft. So in my um, in my like one save, I'm playing Homo sapiens mode, and I have gravity on all of the blocks, and it's actually it's super fun, but it's also an absolute nightmare. But it's super fun, but it's also a nightmare. But it is super fun. But also, you know. I've had, I think I've died more times to cave-ins than I have anything else. Like bears, wolves. It's always when I'm, uh, I'm, I'm digging. I'm digging down to like grab some copper and suddenly the, all of the dirt like collapses on top of me. That stick is going crazy. It's got anti-grav tech. Very cool. How are we doing for sticks? Okay, good, good, good. We're making some good progress. I think later on you can get a scythe, right? That you or or like something that harvests uh, sticks from uh, from wood, from trees, I should say. All right, let's let's get chopping. This should be enough, I think, to finish off what we started. The tree actually gets destroyed if you could. Yeah, it does. It's the seven. It's one of the coolest things. Branchy leaves has like 100% drop for sticks. Normal leaves has something like 40 to 50%. Good to know. I didn't know that normal leaves could give sticks. Okay, I think that might be enough for what we need. And if it isn't. Um, I will use something else. Oh, we got an oak seed. Oh, we cut down an oak tree. Oak logs are pretty important, right? We're going to need those later. To make tannin for our leather working. We'll make sure there's no goddamn rabbits eating my shit. I'm going to be angry. Oh yeah, we forgot to... Uh... Okay.
Right. Let's keep going around the edge. Uh, what was the recipe again? It was this. This. Do another 48, see how that treats us. Get the hell away f Oh, dude! Oh, no! They can't swim forever? Did they drown? No, please don't shush, Valian. I uh, I appreciate the uh, the tips. That's good front seat. That's not back seating. That's front seating, and I appreciate that. So uh, please, if you have any uh, suggestions, please hit me up. What are we gonna do about this? Probably have to tear the arch down. Let's fill this with uh, crappy soil for now. Can rabbits still spawn on soil that has a fence on it? Surely not, right? No, it can't. Okay. With you, it's bears. They became a huge thing. I think even more caved. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of bears, actually. Um, we've encountered probably, I want to say, four or five different bears so far in this world. Which is cursed. Okay, good, good, good. We're almost, almost done here. I'm just going to make a single gate in. And then this should be more or less secure. We just need to fill up. We can just do this for now. And then put blocks along there. Dead growing flax. Will this still become flax or should I just remove this? I think we need to start exploring over this way for more um, seeds. How do we make a gate? Four. Four acts. Okay. Resting recipe. That's not the gate, you idiot. That's the fence. We made that out of oak. Oops. Well, at least it's <laughs> at least it stands out, right? Okay. Sun is going down, unfortunately. You feel like creatures drown because they glitch out of being able to rise to the surface. Remove it. You should get the seed back. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. I will absolutely do that. Oh, cool. Um, all right, let's store some of our stuff here. All right, my animals will protect me from the drifters, right? Opium. Did we take... Yeah, okay. I f was really stupid using that oak, but that's fine. We can maybe plant an oak tree here, which will be nice. Let's plant an oak, like, over on this island over here. We've got chickens, we've got friggin' rabbits, we've got pigs, we've got sheep. We've got puffballs. Animals don't care about drifters. Well, they will when the drifter tries to throw a stone at me and misses and hits the the sheep. That's what I'm hoping. 
Okay. Um, I think we're good for food just, just at the moment. Let's grab a, a little bit of dirt and fill those gaps in. Might be a good idea to start leveling this island flat. So that we have uh, a nice area to build. Let's maybe start with like this area. Might be worth grabbing a bit more grass before we do that. Wait, now that we have clay, isn't there something we can make? Um, I mean, we, sh we definitely should make some of these um, storage vessels for our seeds. But also, isn't there something we can make with clay and grass? Or is it... Am I imagining that? You know what I do want to do is make... Yeah, let's... Let's quickly craft... Um, some storage vessels. Get out of my face. These things are huge, so this is going to take a while. Good luck dodging aimbot drifters. Yeah, they are pretty friggin... Like, it is, it is kind of frustrating how accurate they are. And they can throw infinite stones, right? Or do they run out of stones eventually? infinite stones awesome just great incredible news yep we get it piggy we get it is it worth making uh, candles out of the fat or is it better to cook the fat? By the way, what does the rift next to me actually mean? Does it just mean that there's a chance that um, drifters can spawn in during the daytime as well? God, this takes forever. Gonna have to get more clay. Ooh, baby. All right, let's fill this in. Oil lamps for the fat. Never cook it. Okay, that's what I thought. I will absolutely do that. Orange underscore dub is now following. Hey, orange redub. Thank you very much for the follow. First time chatter, welcome. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Right back at you. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great Monday. Hope y'all are having a blessed Monday. Right, let's make one more um, storage vessel. And then go and fill in the farm. In fact, no, you know what? We're going to make the storage vessel come nighttime because that's a good nighttime activity. Let's, uh, let's get to, to chopping over here. And by chopping, I mean digging. We're going to terraform this whole island eventually. Is that a lupin? It is a lupin. I used to I used to be a uh, I used to work in a flower shop. I was a florist for a short time. Lupin is a pretty cool flower. All right, it's getting dark, chat. Doing great. You love this game. Yeah, me too. 
it's a very uh it's a weird mix of like people said it's kind of a chill game but also it can be super tense at times i really like the early game because you it does feel like you're kind of having to rush to get things done before before night comes Okay, let's, uh, we want to keep these lupins because if we get bees later on, they're going to be important. Let's make another shovel. But by, by the way, uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Rograt. I, I stream... This is not the no game I normally stream. I normally stream uh, roguelikes. Specifically Caves of Cud. Uh, is my my go-to game but every now and then it's nice to have a, a chilled out vintage story sesh you know chilled out regardless of the hellish portal that's opened up in our base don't even worry about it I think we can get away with leaving the island too high going one more yeah th that would be way too much work can you suggest something you can indeed holding something in your hand oh yeah that, that is true somebody did tell me that thank you very much when you nap or clay form try holding the alt key Oh, what does that do? I want to test that. Give me a moment. Put these lupins down. Califragilistic expialidocious. Okay. Uh, before we do that, before we try the alt button, let us go and fill in the gaps over in our farm. Look at this friggin' rabbit trying to steal my goods. Yeah, get the hell out of here, sucker. Um. Okay. I'm sorry, but that's the final straw. Okay, good. We did get the seed back. Looks like we got ourselves a, a loser here. Where did my other spear go? I don't know where it went. That's annoying. Okay, that, that, that clearly spawned on top of the untilled soil there. So let's amend that. Really hurts today, chat. More than normal. Okay, um... Right, let's fill this outside in. So nobody tries to swim through like friggin' AV seal. Okay, so that part's done. Now we need to till. Oh wait, you said hold alt. Oh my god. Okay. Orange redub? Incredible tip. Look at this. Look at the freedom I wield. Okay, that's actually incredible. Thank you very much for that. I did not know that that was a thing. Let's get all this tilled. Oh, they ate my friggin' my my spelt as well. Okay, so this should now be safe, right? From animals. Works with most things. Ah, okay, awesome. This this in theory is now a secure location against animals, I think. I hope. Unless they can get under this gap, but I don't think they can. 
I guess they could maybe like hop on here and come over here. So let's try and fix that by doing this. It's 90% safe. Yeah, the game gets very dark if you don't have a torch. Yep. Oops. No, close the freaking gate. There we go. Well, we may as well make a little uh, a little dirt path. This is not going to be pretty for now, but it will it will be beautified eventually. I want to make an actual bridge. Perfect. You've never seen something so beautiful. Okay, is this rift still here? No, it's gone. No, it hasn't. It's just there. Oh. Hold on. Alright, I said hold on. Where are you? Hey, he got killed by this sheep. Uh, why are you coming after me? I didn't do anything. All right, sheep. The sheep are getting murdered, dude. Get out. Get out. Okay. I didn't do. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. Fine, we're good. We're all good, okay? Don't even worry about it. Ow. We've got 1.7 days. We've got to cook this within 19 hours so let's let's get that done now you absolute gimp where are you oh wait that's a knife this is gonna end badly i know don't worry about it okay We die, we run back. Here comes another one, I think. We good. The animals get hit by a drifter, they think you did it. They can technically stand next to the fence and eat the adjoining block. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess we'll find out if that if that happens. Your rift doesn't mean shit, my friend. I've got 21 bush meat, okay? Don't even judge me. Okay, we are slowly building up. To actually having a an actual like bag as opposed to just a crappy We definitely need some more. Dude, stay away from me, honestly. Let's finish this. Pop that back down. I don't think all of this is going to get cooked. Um. Fine, let's just add some more peat to this. Nice little island we have there. Yeah, thank you. It's called Mushroom Island. Because there's mushrooms everywhere. You've had it happen in your game where they eat across the boundary. 
Also, on your character screen, you should see at the bottom some basic info like how bad rifts are. If they're anything above medium, you might want to seek shelter. God, that thing is so cursed. What just hit me? I don't know. I don't know what just hit me. One day. Okay, we're gonna have to cook this meat up soon. Hey all. I think I had another one. <laughs> Idiot, that's a fire. I think we've. I literally just saw this guy spawn, dude. Oh no, my my spear. I wanna I wanna know what happened to my other spear. I had two. We we should be sort of safe in here, right? Other than the stones that are being thrown at us. I mean. Go try and grab my other spear. Oh, dude, I can't see a thing. See it. Oh, it must have broken. I'll just build a new one, I guess. Build two of them. Man, this alt trick is awesome. Really speeds up the whole process, huh? Beautiful. Man, I can hear the rift from here. Also, dying resets your nutrition. Yeah, I yeah that I have noticed that. I'm try. I, I should actually try not to eat if I'm low on health. They can spawn if it's dark. They really do be out here. Where is they? Do we just go out and explore? I think we should. Um, we could always do with some more wood. And maybe some more seeds. Seeds are always really important. I would actually like to travel up in this direction. So if we if we hang north and we loop round, I think it would be worth checking that out. The terrain generation in this game is friggin' amazing, by the way. Oh, here comes a crawler. You that actually made me jump in real life. I saw that coming towards me. I saw the stone coming towards me and I tried to dodge it in real life. That's embarrassing. Take that, you stink. Right, I think the sun is going to come up soon. We do have to cook. There's a bunch of drifters in the water. 
We do have to cook soon, so I actually may consider killing some of these sheep that are away from the rest of the, the herd. That's a pig. pig. Pigs are my friend. It's the sheep that I want. Like you. Yo. Bing bong. Wake up. That was all part of my plan, chat, to get my health back up. Okay? Don't even worry about it. What the hell? I'm glowing. Why am I glowing? Where's the thing gone that was here? How do I get that back? There used to be a thing here, but it's it's vanished. It was like a nutrition meter thing. I don't know how to get that back. I don't know. I didn't. I must have clicked the X on it. Is this glow when the game takes pity on you and it's like you just died? So we'll give you a, a little bit of help here. What is that? Ooh, free berries. Thank you. What is this? This looks different. It's another apple tree. Bing bong. All right. Where am I? you guys hear my keyboard, by the way? You shouldn't be able to. I think I've got it pretty well dampened. No, you definitely can't. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a pity glow, exactly. What's this? That's a wolf. Okay. So what do we... Okay, we want... Yeah, I want to go explore that new area. I want some seeds. I spish, I want... Flax is super important, right? Like, as soon as you can get flax up and running, we can... Um, I'm glad you can't hear my keyboard, because it's a mechanical keyboard, but I have... I dampened it last week with some O-rings, and it seems to have worked really well. Okay. I mean, there's plenty of rabbits here that we can kill as well. I actually just want... Yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's really cool. Um, it has a really cool... Uh, like, I love how it looks. It feels really nice. It uses brown switches. And... Um, let's see uses brown switches and it has a really cool like uh, I don't really care about RGB but it has a really nice um, thing like when I press a button lights emanate from the button I press and scroll across the whole keyboard it it, it looks fucking awesome hey thank you very much for the cheer lead up Orange V-Dub. Would you prefer to be called? I appreciate it. Thank you very much, man. Um, alright, let's, uh, let's loot this. Oh, baby, jackpot. Look at all that meat. What? Dude, that literally formed. Like, on top of me. Me. All right, cool. Thank you very much for the bits, Orange. I will call you Orange from now on. Orange. All right. Um. The meat. The meat we can cook. Not right now. Let's go grab those all important seeds. Also, can you can you guys just confirm that this. You probably light at least one of these on fire as well. That this is like okay as a seller for now, as a temporary. Twelve days, yes, yes, it's working. It used to be eight days before, so good stuff. Right, yeah, let's light this on fire before we leave. 
Bing bong. All right. I love making the pit kills. This is the best noise in the game. Listen. Oh, so good. How did they get that noise? That back. And let's grab the... I guess we, we'll use firewood rather than the... Uh, Okay, good stuff. Why did all of our torch go extinguished? I don't understand why that happens sometimes. I didn't get them wet. Does anyone know why that is? If no light comes in, it increases the longevity of your meals. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I did, I did already take out some of the grass around here, so that should be fine. But I, I want to know why my torches keep getting extinguished when I um I didn't get them wet or anything. They're in my inventory. Now I have to relight them manually. Okay. Do that real quick. And then we will leave before the day is out. My god, this place is full of rifts. We got one over there and we got one down there. Good stuff, good stuff. make sure we're not carrying anything we don't need like all of this crappy low fertility soil definitely need more reeds as well so we can drop I think everything we have right now we do kind of need maybe we can drop the hoe okay I'll pick up some food as we go and then we'll grab some reeds later are you dead no you're alive Dark Dwayne, first time chatter, welcome, how are you doing? Well, weren't you submerged in water? Yeah, but I was, but I thought that only extinguishes your torches if you have them equipped, right? Maybe I'm wrong about that. God knows I've been wrong in the past. Okay, I think there's a friggin' a werewolf over these parts somewhere. Start grabbing, um, I'm going to start picking up berry bushes and planting them on my, I know these are going to ripen soon, but I don't care. I want to plant them on my property. Desperately, desperately need flax. Bye. Okay. Ooh. That's a cool little area. We haven't found any copper yet, by the way. I have been keeping an eye out for it. See if we can jump this. We're fine. Just tested. Yeah, they stay lit when in the inventory. Weird. I may have inadvertently scrolled through. I have done that before. I'm being very careful not to do it, but I may have. In this way. I'm going to not scroll. Okay, the 
It was just definitely submerged, but yeah, they're still lit. Some more sticks. And let's loop around here and see if we can grab some uh, some flax if we're lucky. Or maybe find a beehive. We could maybe grab some of this um, horse tail as well. You can make bandages from that, right? Whoa. Interesting. You saw that, right? That just formed on top of us. Can that thing damage you? I think that actually electrocuted me earlier. <laughs> or something fucked up like that. Oh, I knew there would be a bear here. There's always bears in this kind of terrain. Okay, we're almost... Yeah, we're almost off this weird shelf thing that we're on. Might be worth exploring this little island here. Maybe we can do that on the way back, though. Poultices, reeds and horsetail. Bears can drown. Yeah, so before you got here, Orange, um, I noticed on our little island that there was a dead uh, ewe. And I was like, I don't know what the hell killed that. I looked around, couldn't see anything. Later on, I looked in the sea. There was just a bear at the bottom of the sea. So I, I looted it and that's where I got 21 bushmeat from. This is a weird terrain over here. Alright, more turnips. Honestly, we kind of have a lot of turnips right now. I guess we could still grab them. It doesn't hurt, right? Like, you can never have too much... Too much turnip in your life. Ah, flax. One flax. Two flax. Three flax. Okay, good, good, good. We got the seed. That's the important thing. Incredible. Alright, good, good, good. We're doing it. Do we see anything growing? Yeah. We do have some oak. Giant oak, which is cool. This looks like wolf territory to me. Is that bees I hear? Or is it just waterfall? I think it's just waterfall. It's very loud. I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf. What is that? It's a butterfly. Okay, let's keep looping round. Hey, Zach. Prokofsky? I mean, eventually food rots, so it's possible to have too much. Yeah, I've got a storage vessel, our first storage vessel, cooking up at the moment. Welcome, by the way. First time chat. I hope you are well. Um, okay, cool. Funny. Yeah, I know you can trade with those. Um... I don't really have the room for it. I've only got room for one more thing and I would like to fill up on seeds right now. I can always come back here for that. I'll remember where it is. Probably. Probably not. God. 
What's happening on Twitter right now? Something's going crazy. Right, let's grab this flax. Good, 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 good. Hell yeah. Any more? Yes. Just wait. One day we're going to have a linen sack and it's going to be beautiful. Carrots. We haven't found carrots yet. This is good. No copper. More flax. Hell yeah. We've hit in the, the jackpot. The flak pot, if, if you will. Do we have black currants? Oh, I would like black currants. Um, what do we drop here? I guess we eat these red currants. Because so I want to grab these bushes. Ah, you know what? We'll come back for them. We don't need them right now. Hey, John Dingo. How you doing, dude? Let me give you a, give you a shout. Uh, had a lot of fun in your stream last night. It was uh, it was really funny. Watching everybody's um, watching the reactions. So last night, John Dingo and he, your brothers, right? You were doing a uh, what? What are those um, really cursed um, beans called? They're not Bertie bots. They are something else. Which is, you know what, you can be this. I am doing well indeed, thank you. Bing bong, a bing bing bong, copper time, copper copper time, finally. After years of waiting. Have our first copper. Um... Should probably grab this now. However, I don't really want to drop anything. So I'm going to come back for this um, in the next day. Now that it's been marked. Keep these uh, sticks out so we can just easily click these here. We just need... Is it 20 copper we need or it's 40, right? For two ingots. What is that noise? That's our farm. Hi. We should build a boat. I can hear a drifter. Somewhere. Underground, I'm assuming. Oh, I'm happy we found some copper. Just need a bit more. I know we can sift for it. We can do the, the, the panning. But I really don't want to do that. Okay, this looks like a cursed location over here. What do we have? We have like a whole bunch of... I mean, it does loop round, so we may as well do the whole loop. See what we see along the way. Okay, some pine resin. Let's mark this in case we need it. By the way, if you guys have any good recommendations for mods, like specifically quality of life mods, um, please let me know. I don't wanna, I don't like adding mods that like change the game. I just want quality of life stuff. Um, that'd be great. Forty little bits equals two hundred units equals two tools. That's right, yeah. So I, I have made it to the Iron Age before, uh, a while ago. Haven't played this game for for a few months. Forgotten almost everything about it. But um, yeah, I I love the way that the metalworking um is in this game. Oh, well, there's pine everywhere. You know what? I'm just gonna. This is a pine forest. I mean, it's to be expected, but. 
I'm going to stop marking it for now. I'm going to try and loop back around. I feel like there's probably bears around here somewhere. Yeah, we've almost looped back. Let's keep an eye out for any more crops or any copper. If you like carry on, you can put a basket on your back. Okay, let me uh, let me write that down. I like to write things down on sticky notes because I'm an old man. Carry on. Thank you very much, Orange. Oh my god, my back is real fucked up, guys. I do... So, I have scoliosis, right? But sometimes my back is kind of... It hurts always, but it doesn't hurt that much. But today, it's really friggin... Really caning. This looks like horrible, horrible terrain to... um. You know what would be a cool base? Is a base built out the side of a mountain. I always love doing that in, like, Minecraft and stuff. Alright, let's, uh, let's get swimming here. I'm pretty happy with our, um... How many... We've got 14 flax seeds. What is that? Just a couple of hogs hogging around. Get me out of here. Is that a lily of the valley? Ooh. They did a good job in making that look like a lily of the valley. I guess I'm swimming. <laughs> oh, dude, there's an arch here. A natural arch. That's pretty friggin' cool. Is it worth him, uh, us building a boat, do you think? Wait, did we miss Terra Preta? I do know about Terra Preta. Did we miss it? It's really dark, isn't it? Mods, more piles. Okay. Step up mod 2. Hey, Cursed. How you doing? Let me write these down. Carry on. More piles. Are these okay to install like mid game? Or do we have to start afresh? Piles. Carry on. Step up. Cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, 680 minus 90 for Terra Preta. Encoded, overload, encoding, overloaded. I don't think so, game. Uh, okay, so it's back this way. Yeah, some early Terra Preta would be, uh... What did you say? Most mods can be installed mid-game. Minus 90. So it's back, it's back this way. I wouldn't mind grabbing some Terra Preta right now. Obviously. Please get me up here. Jesus. I do not see it. I do believe that there probably is some around here. I'm going to make a play for the top of this mountain because swimming takes forever. Bum, 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 bow. Uh-huh. What's your favourite uh, instrument that you guys pick when you um, make your character? How the hell do we get up here? This looks like it might be doable, since we're not going to get crushed here by um, 
by gravity, which is great. Hacker voice, I'm in. Okay. Um. Damn, that's a dead end. Too much effort. We're gonna have to fucking swim. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> we got no other choice. You thought you saw it when I jumped in the water. It wasn't. Oh, that's alright, man. Oh, it's a floating island. Very Minecrafty. You're enjoying low tuba. Yeah, that's what I had last time. I like the tuba as well. Later in the game, sortable storage. You're an oboe enjoyer. Death cap. Well, yeah. Probably uh, the clue is in the name. Don't eat that. Is that a dead wolf? Are you, are you really coming for me? You're a dick. Okay, yeah, we're still looping around. Jesus. Take that. That's Terra Pratter. You are standing on Terra. Oh my god, Ovo. I mean, I just called you Ovo. I meant to call you Orange. <laughs> I'm going to call you Ovo from now on. Yeah, it's just, is it just the one piece of Terra? Did we get shortchanged? <laughs> called you Obo. I got excited. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I think it's just one piece. I'm not even going to mark that on my map. The Obo man. Single Pretter. Now that's just rude, right? Sorry. I'm sorry to do this. The women and the children too. Okay. You didn't see that, guys. Okay. Erase that. <gasps> Hoggers. Okay, more copper. Bing bong. Love it. Okay, we've got two pretty nice looking... Copper... Um, copper nodes. You know what I really like is the prospecting pick. I figured out how to use it. And I found uh, like a whole bunch of um, tin. So I could make... Uh, I made a bronze lamp. <gasps> oh, this is Pete. I thought this was Terra Pretta. I got excited. Do we have onions in our inventory? No, we're not going to be able to take the onions. That's fine. I'll, uh, I'll mark these and come back. Or we drop... Let's be honest. Let's drop the... What do we drop? We drop flax grain, right? That's good for feeding animals, but not much good for... Um, big, strong, grown boys like us. And then the onion. Do we want to trade a single onion for free rye? Or we can just eat this. Clip the murderization. How dare you. Eat the flax. Oh, can you eat it raw? Can you raw dog flax? Oh my god. I mean, it doesn't do much, but it's something. Oh, thanks for the tip. That's what she said. But um, Alright. Can we grab any more flax before we head back?
A single piece of terra preta. That's really crap, isn't it? Of all the places it could have spawned, it spawned in a single tile. What the fuck? Is it worth us building a boat? I think it might be worth building a boat to get across this lake. I know the boat takes forever. I remember building one. all your food so you have more inventory space yeah i was i mean i'm gonna save the rest for cooking i'm gonna cook up a lovely stew to get the most bang for my buck i like this i really i i know i just said it a minute ago but the terrain generation in this game is fucking awesome like this is just one big giant lake that we've gone around and it's taken a whole day Kind of like in real life, you know? Prob probably skip this loop here for now. There's a dead bear here again. Happened again. Love the fat. So, let's eat our, um, I see it. Let's eat our rye. I want to make a bunch of candles. Which means we need to make more bowls, I think. Is that what we need? You need, you need, sorry, not candles, um, fat lamps. Okay, let's steer clear of that guy. Probably pissed. Even though that's a brown bear. He's probably going to go and drown now, which is cool. Um, Alright, we made the loop. Just in time. Is that not, oh, that's rain. I thought that was a, a bee swarm. I was about to panic. It's a little faster now, but you lose two inventory spaces. That's true. Oh, I killed this. I didn't grab the pelt because I had no inventory, and I don't have <laughs> I don't have inventory now. So I'm just gonna leave that rabbit there. Um, all right, there, that's Mushroom Island. All right, we're doing it, chat. We're surviving. We've only died twice, three times, mostly due to our own fault, attacking animals. Yes. Here's a cool mod idea. Uh, you can throw the knife. You can have throwing daggers. Just go. Yo, what up? I'm home. All right. There. This is like an obscene amount of bush meat. I want to cook this immediately because it's about to go bad. Gonna use a lot of uh, resources to cook all of that. Is it worth cooking all this? I mean, I guess so, right? May as well get some use out of it. All right, we've got. Um, I'm just gonna stack everything here. These are fresh for eight hours. Jesus. Those. Okay, we need to make some um, some soup today. Some stew, sorry. Okay, fat supply is looking good. And as soon as this is done, uh, we can start keeping stuff in our crappy little cellar. So it lasts longer. Let me chug as many of these berries as I can right now.
Lovely stuff. Let's go plant our seeds. And also our bushes. Let's make a little bush arrangement like over here. I know animals can eat them, but um, I'm fine with that. I'm just going to stack them like too high. This is just kind of a temporary thing, just in case we need them. Oh, that's there's already a black currant bush here, which is kind of nice. Okay. You can't use bush meat in any recipe, so it's best to cook it separately. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and get as much of that cooked up. I'm going to make another pot and get that going. Um, now we're going to go plant uh, some of our seeds. That means let's take some more of our... If we have any left, that is. We do. Medium fertility soil. My beautiful bridge that I built. It took me hours to decide on what I wanted it to kind of look like. You know, I want it to be kind of stylish, but also a bit rustic. Um... This is my, I know this is like a horribly inefficient way of planting, but I would like doing it like this. Help me, I'm drowning. Oh, I forgot to bring my hoe over, didn't I? Fine. Um, also, this is a cursed area, just so you know. Let's put the flax down. Here. This is all flax. I'm going to keep it in... Yeah. It's like this, because this is rice here. We can, we can take this all the way over to... Where the turnips start, which is right here. We have a lot of turnips planted. I'm trying to plant things with similar, like this is a K and this is also a K. Um, so I'm trying to plant them together. You like the design, it's unique. Is unique uh, a nice way of saying weird? Because I'll take it. Don't fall in the water, please. Thank you. Okay, um, let's go grab the hoe since we don't want any rabbits to spawn. Okay. Where the hell is my hoe? Oh, it's in my fucking inventory. It's part of my French. All right. You ever seen anyone plant like that before? Oh well, you know what? I'll take it. Thanks. This is my patented design. It ensures, I think, like 75% moisture at all times. I know there's more efficient designs because I did it in my old playthrough, but I just decided on this, I guess. Okay. Um... We may as well finish planting all this soil, since we're already here. So it's just, you've just placed two, starting at every, the one before every gap. So this is the gap, this is the one before, and you just do two, and it just makes a nice kind of zigzag. You know, I was going to play some cud. Caves of Cud today, but I think uh, I think we'll just continue on with Vintage Story because 
I'm enjoying it. We've got some lovely new people in chat. I appreciate all of you for being here. Um, if I haven't said that already, it's always nice to have new people. So thank you. All right, let's shed a little light on the situation. Get hoeing, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. You guys know Postman Pat. Do you have Postman Pat in the US? I'm assuming you guys are mostly North America. Do you have Postman Pat over there? Do you know who that is? Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Um, I think we're actually good for turnips. I may have to start a new section that is turnips. Onions we have growing in a really weird place over here. These are onions. Got like eight onions so far, so let's make that ten. Uh, carrots are a K, same as onions, I think. No, onions are a P. What is a K? Something else is a K. These are N. N P. Oh, K. These are K. Yeah, rice and uh, flax. Got some rye as well. Um. You know what? Let's grow these with the rice. I don't really care about carrots in real life or in the game. And N. What is this? This is spelt. This is rye. So let's put it here. All right. And the turnips, uh, I guess I'll hold on to them. Do turnips grow quickly, right? I just want to keep enough space that we have um, to plant all of the flax we can possibly get. So I don't want to put too many turnips down. I think I'll keep the rest of them. Oh, you're UK, Orange. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Whoa, what the hell is this? Cursed Firefly. This is about to go off. We should probably do something about it. Mm, guess let's uh, chop up some wood. And then we can... Um, we can build another uh, pot. What part of the UK are you from? Obviously, without doxing yourself, are you, from, are you in the north? Are you in the south? Or is it none of my damn business? Yeah, let's, let's get another pot on the go here since it's night time. I feel like that's a good time to do some clay forming. Uh, it's not you, it's not you, it's... Fuck this... Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> what? My dude, you need to chill the hell out, man. I didn't want to have to kill any pigs, but I will. Yeah, I will. Believe it. Where is he? You must be taught a lesson, my friend. Yeah, run away, dipshit. Anyway. Um, he played me like a goddamn fiddle. He's invincible. Did you see that jump back? That was fucking MLG right there. Nobody jumps back like that anymore. Where did he go? I don't know where the hell he went, man. That's freaking me out. <laughs> Where is he? I don't like this. I hear I hear honk. And by honk I mean oink. Did we get both of our spears back? We did. Alright, I'm assuming that guy's leaving me alone now. Alright, let's get some more of this good shit going. 
And let's keep building. I think I may have accidentally clicked on uh, on the pig, and it, that pissed it off for some, for some reason. Midlands. Ah, okay. Classic. It might have walked through the fire, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Don't know why. It... I mean, yeah, I did build the fire, but the pig doesn't know that. It's a pig. Alright, anyway. Let's get this uh, second storage vessel cooking up. I haven't found any more clay besides the firing clay that I'm currently using. Pig is a Noah, yeah. I don't, I don't know, man. He's he's got some kind of omniscient pig brain. He's got bigpigbrain.com. All right, we're good. We're building. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -dum, bum, bow, da, bow, bow. Wow, we're about to hit 330 followers. That's crazy, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Tomorrow, I'm going to be playing some friggin' FTL. I'm really looking forward to it. One of the greatest games of all time. If you haven't played FTL, then you need to sort your life out. And then some more Caves of Cud, aka the greatest game. Oh my god, we're still not done. I feel like I've been doing this for 30 years, dude. He's watching- yeah, I'm being stream sniped by a pig. I think that is literally what's happening. Postman. I don't know why I've got postman pat stuck in my head. I just do. All right, let's uh, let's stack up some wood here for now. God, I hate. This is the longest I've ever gone with not like immediately trying to build a base, but it's done. Early in the morning. All right, let's put this down here. Put our um our stuff in it. I mean, it's a shame we can't really. Dig out some more dirt, though. Eventually, I would like to replace all of this with, um... With stone. I guess I can actually do it now. I do have the cobblestone. Is that true that if we replace the dirt with cobblestone, things in here will last even longer? Now let's uh, let's place this here, and this helps. Okay, so everything spoils slower in here, but especially vegetables and grain. Let's grab this. How long have we got left on this? Like eleven days. Perfect. Postman. All right, let's eat these rotten cranberries. I think well we may as well since we've gotten so far we may as well just finish cooking all of this crap now and then you got 20 hours on you let's see how long this lasts if we put it in the uh, in the pot down here It's gone up by three hours, and if we close it behind us, it will increase even more, I believe. You don't know whether cobble makes a difference. You always put your vessels in a hole and put stairs over. Usually don't have a cellar until later. I can do that. I do know where there are some stairs that we can use. I'd be up for giving that a try. Um, 
Right, we need more flint. I'm going to kind of live off... Um... Bush meat for the time being. And how about we go grab the copper? For now, let's just put everything thing that we can eat in here. We will need to cook this up very soon. We'll do it in the next the next evening. Um and let's also cook this pot. Some grass. Usually you put the cooking fire on top of the stairs, makes a nice little kitchen. Oh that's a cool what? You mean you have um you have a stair under this block with a vessel beneath it? So does the the stair doesn't let light through then? I'm assuming that's why. Uh, why why that happens, right? Oh wait wait, I need sticks first. All right, let's cook this bad boy up. Forget the rest of that. I don't care about the rest of it. That's more than enough bush meat to keep me going. Start chomping this down. Um, you know what? I'm I'm very tempted to just um to set fire to this whole island and to clean it out. Do you know what I mean? Like if we um if we take all the bushes and then we just set this on fire and just let it kind of Clean itself. Is that a good idea, or is that the idea of a madman? Would it lag the server? Uh, no, this is just single player. It'll be fine. I've done it before. I've done it plenty of times. Um, all right. I said I want to go grab that copper. This guy needs to die. That's a ram. We'll deal with you later. Mikeio Five is now following. Uh, Makaya05, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it massively. How are you doing? That's a bear. Kill the sheep. I'm going to go. Bye. Alright, today we get copper. And we look for more vegetables. Um, so nearest copper node. Ah, oh, they're both in a really awkward. This one's. It... Do I hear bees? No. There's something else. How you doing, Micaiah? You should leave your hoe at home. T tell me about it. Yeah, let me go. Let me go and do that. Also, our curiosity, can we not build a boat or a raft, it's probably called? Five rope, right? I think we build a boat. I do still have my fire starter on me. Should I drop that as well? I'm building a boat, dude. We just need some reeds. To make some rope. All right, um, yeah, let's grab, let's go get some reeds, build a super quick boat, 
there's something else over there. I think that's a pig. You can control shift on the floor and lean it against a tree. Oh, what? The fire starter. How do we build rope again? I was just no rabbits in here, I hope. Uh, excuse me. But you know what? I'm going to let you live, rabbit, because I got other things to do today. But God help you if you come back in the evening, my dude. I'll eat your guts for guys. All right. I said five, five rope is what we need, right? Yeah. Okay. My knife is about to break. Any moment now. Would like to get all of these before it breaks. Perfect. Perfect time to break. And I'm about to break. Alright. Um, let's see if we can make five rope. One, two, three, four. Well, we're close. That's fine. Make a new knife real quick. Those baskets you can lean oh okay i know i used to build like a, a rack i can put them on but it's good to know i can just lean them against stuff thank you as always for the uh for the tips okay aha i think this is still going to make us one short of being able to um make another rope no we're four short okay oh that bears you see the bear we're gonna have to deal with this aren't we is there a way we can like dig a pit for the bear to fall into no 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 fuck the fuck off please why are you being a dick? You do you, and I'll, um... <laughs> it looks funny when he swims. You're killing all of my friends. Thank you, because I can eat them, but still. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I think we can now build... Yes, we can now build a boat. Of course, the bear is now, like, literally stood over where all of my wood is, but... If I can just find out how much wood we need. Okay, so we need 12 pieces there. And... 14 pieces of wood. Mean Mr. Bearface. Why are you just coming after me and not the animals? I mean, what is... Alright, good, good, good. Yeah, come over here. Why are you chasing me? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Quickly. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, you must be pretty dinged up if you're running. Can't let good meat go to waste. Yep. I know we're getting sidetracked here. Welcome to my channel. Stab myself with my own spear? Snapping Mastery is another nice mod. I stab myself with my own spear. Um, getting three knife blades per napping. Oh, okay. That sounds alright. Alright, well, we got that 
We got a lot of good meat out of that, but um, I did manage to impale myself twice, I think, on the spear. So that's like, you know, that is what it is. It's the bear away from my cellar. See it anywhere. What else is dead? You're alive, you're alive, you're alive. You're all alive. Where the f where the hell did the... My, my guy, please. Come on! Bye. Bye. Here. Wait. Alright, let's chuck all of the meat in here. We're going to be able to, to make a real good stew. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? Am I being camped by a bear? I don't like this. If I'm quick, maybe I can seal up. Oh. Luckily, the bear's an idiot. Alright, cool. Bye. Whoa, I almost fell down a pit. I love this game. Alright. Let's make the shit that we wanted to make. It was a raft. Beautiful. Look at that. It's a, it's a thing of beauty. And then what was the ore? Recipe? Two and two, okay. Bing bong, we're ready to rock. Oh, you can pick the boat up as well. Um... All right. How how do I um? Makes sense. All right. We are heading kind of east northeast here. No, more northeast. More east. Sorry. Oh my God! Hey, Ash. How's it going? Ash, 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 ash. Ash, ash, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I do need pol uh, to make a healing poultice, like, as asaply as possible. Uh, let me give a, let me give you a shout out. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to give people shout outs, all of the lovely people. Um, there we go. That is Ash. She is a game dev. And an Aussie to boot. You're sick again. Oh, dude. A lot of people are sick at the moment. Most of my friends. Do you know a band... Um, you probably don't. I'm only asking you this because... Australia, but uh, <laughs> there's a band called. Um, I went to see one of my one of my viewers, Vasco, one of the very first people that subbed to me. His band was playing in London, and I went to see them. And they were um, they were supported by a band called Greenhouse, who are Australian band. And uh, I chatted to the bassist for ages. They're from Melbourne. And yeah, it was just fucking awesome. We just chatted in the beer garden for like probably over an hour. But they're called Greenhouse and they're really cool. Alright, that's all the floor nugs we can get there. So let's head in this direction. Which is what? Southwest? Give me the nuggets. Stockholm is a den of disease. Yeah, they're called Swedish people. Okay.
Yeah, I imagine it's pretty pretty chilly. Getting pretty chilly over there. What is the temperature at the moment? You know, it's been raining in the UK for like, a, I don't know, like a fucking a month straight at this point. It's awful. I should not be drinking this at 10 p.m. That is fucking stupid. Let's stop that. Yo, what up? Are we still heading in the... Yeah, okay. Look all the fucking rabbits out here, man. What What's going on? I know what's going on. They're trying to get my delicious crops. And they're lucky that I'm on a raft right now, otherwise they'd be dead. Yes, Triple J. That's how I found out. Um, do you know what I found on Triple J, actually? This is the weirdest fucking thing. Um, <laughs> I found out who the Wiggles were. And they were doing a cover of uh, Tame Impala's... I think they did Elephant. A cover of the song Elephant, if you know that, by Tame Impala. And it was, it's fucking better than the original, which is insane. It's so good. They nailed it. They smashed it. Uh, but you're right, there's a lot of my favourite current bands are from Australia. Namely, Ammo and the Sniffers, King Gizzard. Lots of good shit coming out of Australia. There always has been, though. Alright, let's go grab these copper nugs. Alright, how many do we get this time? There's three. Eleven. Fifteen, great. Well, we're almost halfway. You know, we can't complain. I'm not opposed to doing some sifting. I would much rather not do some sifting, but I, I can do some sifting if need be. Let's make sure we didn't leave anything behind here. I found out who the Wiggles were. For, yeah, I really did. Because they're not, they're not really, they don't really have a, a, a thing in the UK. I think they're big in America. As well, but not in the UK. We don't have the Wiggles over here. Also, the drummer is really hot. I don't know what her name is, but she plays drums. <laughs> she was really hot, which helps. Hey, look, there's a cock in the water. You should probably go back to land, dude. You're gonna drown. That chicken is gonna drown. Yeah, I never heard of them in the UK. I mean, I mean, they are. I mean, I am 33, so maybe they're out of my my kind of age range. But um, let's deal with this bear. Can we deal with this fucking bear that's like camping our um, base right now? Can I eat on my raft? I can't eat on my. Ra oh wait, that's because that's flint. There we go. You don't know the current lineup. You grew up with the OG Wiggles. I think a couple of the OG Wiggles are still. There's like an old guy with like a pompadour. I think he's probably OG Wiggles, and I think there's uh, there's an Asian guy that I think might be OG Wiggles. Anyway, they were great. They were really great, and they absolutely nailed the song. Right, get off. Can we uh, can we pop this down? Is there a way to store the the uh, the ore? How do I store the ore? Can we? Oh, we can lean it against a too high block. Thank you very much, Orange, for the tip. See, I thanked you in advance. In advance, there. Sorry, I called you Orange. I meant Oboe. Thank you, Oboe, for the tip. Where is the bear, though? I think the bear might have gone. Alright, cool. Let's, uh... Look, fuck off, pig. Me, when I see a police officer. No. Um, shift, shift control. It's not working. Oh. You gotta do it on the floor. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, uh, uh it looks like a, a sheep got fried here. Good for me. Oh, we can. Oh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna cook. Let me cook. 
Just let me cook. We're going to make some friggin... Get this out of here. We've got so much meat. This is going to be a, a great day for cooking. Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to pick this up. Okay. Let's go grab the uh, the other meat before it spoils. I, I'm, I'm a bit concerned that the bear is now just gone. Uh, but you know what? A problem not seen is a problem solved. Rogue Rat 2023. Um, you go there, you go there. Alright. So what one spoils soonest? This is fresh for one and a half days. This is fresh for nine hours. So we absolutely need to cook. The most hefty fucking meat stew you've ever seen in your life. Look at that. Oh, baby. This is going to give me so much hunger back. Um, let's cook it with peat, which is disgusting. You would never do that in real life. That would be absolutely gross, but here we are. Mm -mm, the Asian guy is Greg, whose gag was always falling asleep. He's recently been replaced with a guy who's absolutely a thirst trap for mums. Really, I gotta see this. I'm gonna let this, um, cook. I'm gonna say the Wiggles, Greg, replacement. Sam? Sam, Sam Wiggle. I think it's Sam. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, he, yeah. I see Sam. This guy. Oh shit, something's attacking me. I was, I was too busy looking at Sam Wiggle. <laughs> I got killed by a ram. Thanks, Ash. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. That's fine. We weren't really doing anything there. Punch the portal. Bong. No, John. Okay, I will look in a moment. I can, I can see Sam being a, a first trap for mums as well. He's handsome. He's got a little, a little chin dimple. Ba, 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 ba. Did you see the, the redhead that I was talking about? He's cute. She plays drums as well, which is my thing. So, I'm not saying, but you never know what might, what might happen in the future if I move to Australia. Just kidding. Okay, there's the, the bear's drowning. Fuck you. Oh. Oh no, he's running. Oh, that's a sh Oh. Sorry about that, mate. How do I chat in game? Fuck you. Alright, cool. Well, we can come back and harvest that for some uh, bush meat if we want. I want to call pest control. Oh my god, I might want to look where I'm going. I almost fell. What's going on over here? Oh my god, that's a wolf! I thought that was a goat. Bing bong, bing bong. He's still coming. I think I'm scared of a wolf. You know how many of you I've killed? That's right. He's gonna drown now. Okay. Oh, cool. I like running through that because it makes the gear spin. It's very, um, very satisfying. Right, let me. I'm gonna have to get my revenge on all of these. Um... Oh, great! 
Get away, please. Why? Why, though? I didn't do anything. Just because you walked over fire because you're a dipshit. Give up. Are you good? I tell it. Okay, they're both after me. Real cool. You're trying to pretend that everything's good. Freaking sheep. <laughs> I'm being spawn killed by a sheep, dude. Alright, it's personal this time. Oh, hey, by the way, I forgot that was there. Cool. Alright, third time's the charm here. It's time to get some uh, some payback. In the form of a lamb shank. I am, I am actually going to... Here's the thing. If I kill all the animals on the island, I'm going to have a lot of meat that I have to... That I have to deal with, right? It might be too much. So I think what I is maybe a better idea is if I if I move the campfire somewhere that they're not gonna walk over it. Let's do that. Let's maybe put a fence around it, which is fucking stupid, but I think that's what I might have to to do because I don't want to keep getting killed by a sheep because it's embarrassing. Yeah, Emma is cute. The yellow, yeah, that's right. The yellow wiggle, wiggle, or dig a pit. Do you mean like dig a pit for enemies to fall into, or to put the fire into? Can you walk over a fire? Dig an animal pit. Okay. How deep will it have to be? Oh, there's a bear. Again, is this the same bear? I think this is the actual bear that we had before. It was just hiding somewhere. How deep would we have to dig a pit for a bear to fall into? Just out of curiosity. Beautiful. Look at this. That literally just opened in front of my face. Stop running through the fire then, idiot. Go, let's go start storing these like up against the wall back here. Okay, these are actually going for longer, but it's just because they um I just opened the door, I think. Okay, we do have more meat that we need to cook. Um let's go loot. Only some stuff floats. Wow, this is pretty deep here, huh? Bears can climb three blocks. I, I read that initially as bears can climb trees. I was like, shit. Okay, they can climb three blocks. Um... Alright, let's, uh, let's cook up some more red stew here. Oh, that's perfect. That's the perfect uh, amount of meat as well. Uh, let's just use this. Okay, there was still enough residual heat to get that going. That's good news. Um, and that's some good fucking stew, man. I don't think we can be here, unfortunately. Let's put the uh, the copper away, as well as the pelts. This bush meat is fresh for like two hours, and then it goes bad. So let's just throw this out. Oh, dude, everything's drowning. This is kind of depressing. Look at all the baby pigs. Oh my god. It's 
just like baby animals, just... Yeah, I'm gonna harvest them. I mean, it would be a waste, right? Can you even get anything off a baby animal? Oh, baby, you can. Alright, good. Is there a way to prevent portals from opening on your, um, on your property, on your area? The Great Drowning. Tristam, how's it going? Welcome back. It's been a while. You know what? I'm getting a, like, a residual amount of meat off these guys, so you know what? Let the drowning commence, I say. <laughs> um... Oh, the baby pig, the little piglets are so cute, though. The sheep I didn't give a shit about, but the, the, like, the lambs can drown, but the little piglets, that's too much for me. Rabbits can also drown. Alright, how's this, um... Coming along. Alright, it's about halfway done. I think we might need to add a little bit more wood, possibly. Anything dead over here? Yep. Okay, the, you know what? The bears are kind of doing me a favor. Because this ram can, like, one-shot me. I swear. Okay, let's rearrange our inventory now that we're back. Where I threw that on the ground, on the ground but whatever. Shut up. Okay, let's grab that. Shovel goes in number two, as everybody knows. Just for four days. Man, that's good. It's good value. Any more dead animals around here that I can um, harvest? May as well grab the bones. I think the bear is going down here, which is terrifying. There's nothing to prevent Rift's early game. Gotcha. Okay, there's the bear. Cool, cool, cool. Let's let it be for now. Okay, good, 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 good. We are getting absolutely sorted. Should I be try and be economical here? And... It's got one... Oh, no, never mind. That was a waste. I think we're good now for food for a little while. I, I want to try not to make too much stuff. So let's loot this. Obviously, we can't stay here tonight. We're going to have to go somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Hurry up. Beautiful. Let's go put these below. Maybe for... For later. Yeah, the meat doesn't last as long, but it, it does last fairly long still. This one only has two servings, so I'm just going to put that there. And then let's store this in here for now. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you need to relight our torches, actually. All right, let's try and get these relit before we um run away for the night let's throw the can we throw the bush meat on there and like burn it store the fat we should probably make those um if we make the fat lamps can we jump in water with them or will they still burn out why not nerd pole and then build a platform yeah we could totally do that we could build a tree house Can drifters still spawn, like, up high?
Let's go check on our farm. I keep thinking that shell is a piece of copper. Oh, uh, would you want to fuck off? How? Okay. Let's grab these torches back if we can. Will they burn out? Good, 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 good. All right. Things look to be good over here. I don't see any evidence of stuff being eaten, so... Yeah, nice. Whatever is growing over here is growing really fast as well. Spelt. The platform needs to be lit or stoned. Okay. I have read about doing the stone thing. Where you cover the floor in stones, right? And it prevents drifters from uh, from spawning. I think maybe tonight we go, we kind of get nomadic and we just move around and try our best to avoid the uh, the horror. Let's drop these pelts off before we do that. The cool effect loud though oh, wait I built boat didn't I where's my boat in is there fishing in this game is there a fishing rod oh what Okay, that needs to be a mod. If there's a mod... Oh, somebody slayed my cock. Oh my god! That scared the crap out of me. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, they're throwing stones now, which is quite rude. Um, do we want to take the boat out? I guess. I guess it's the only... I don't sit on it, dip. There we go. Let's go grab our ore. Stay the fuck away. Will they do anything to my base? Will they, like, destroy my base? What the fuck is going on? Oh, it spawned on top of us again. Seems to be happening a lot. Are we cursed? What's the level of rift? I should have checked. Hi. First the single pretter, now slaying your cock. The game seems to dislike you. Yeah, I, it really does. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Let's have a stretch. Is there a decent mod that adds fishing to the game? Because I feel like a game like this with fishing would be like a match made in heaven. Because let's be honest, everybody loves fishing in games. It's like the best mini game you can add to a game. We uh, let's go like, so this is sort of a lake. We could attempt to like navigate. I feel like this is really shallow here though, and it probably wouldn't be worth it. We've barely explored any of the, uh, like, infinite map. Maybe we can f go down this way and, uh... I don't know what that is. Maybe flowers? Alright, it's super chill to watch you to bail. Yeah, thanks for being here, it's the Sev. I appreciate you being here as always, my dude. Thank you so much for the support. Take it easy, man. Uh, as with Minecraft or Terraria, there's a mod for that. 
yeah, if there is a fishing mod, please uh, please let me know. Primitive survival adds fishing rods, fishing traps, and plenty of other stuff. Primitive survival, there's another one for the list. Survival. Thanks very much, guys, for the suggestions. I'm going to try and play, like, um, some vintage story maybe every Monday. As a fun little uh, one-off from, from playing card or something. Yeah, let's, uh, let's sail this way. I think this t leads us back to the cursed single block of Terra Preta. Dark Dwayne is now following. Hey, Dark Dwayne. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it immensely. Thanks for being here. Also, you're my 330th follower, so thank you very much. If I can get three more followers, I'll be at that sweet third of the way to a thousand point. Where is that Terra Preta? It was over here. It's hilarious. I want to I wanna take a photo of it. No, it wasn't. It was somewhere. This is where we thought there was Terra Preta. My bad. Let's gather some, um, some horsetail. Perhaps. Give me the horsetail. Not forget this is here. Let's um, put a torch here. Just in case we do forget. We don't need a knife to harvest this, do we? No. Wait, there's only one? I swear there's more. I guess we'll grab the, the reeds since we're here. You're telling me there was only one horse tail. Bleeding laugh. Hello. Hmm. Alright, well we got one we got one horse tail. How much should we need for a poultice? No, I'm not using linen, are you crazy? Four, okay. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Some sticks. Aha. You can officially craft a poultice. To read, yeah, we can do exactly that. Bing bong. All right, cool. What do we use pine resin for again? I love that this game has a little guide. It's so cool. Make armor. We can make a bow. That's right. And the fruit. Uh, yeah, I want to make a fruit press. Like, I never really got to mess around with making wine. In my last game. Because I made the fruit press like super late. Um, so I want to do that. This time. Fuck's sake. I keep doing that. Well this is a nice little safe area. Huh. Yeah, Frank. Vintage Mondays. Why not? Oh, there's more horsetail here. How did that horsetail go? Oh. Let's not waste any. Let's just make the amount that... Let's make eight. We just need one more read and then we're good. Cool. Let's hope I remember that I have them. I desperately need some linen, that's for sure. I 
Maybe by the time we get home, the uh, the sun will start coming back up. Okay, we finished one. Bam, 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 bam. Sail away, sail away. This is for you, Chantel. Every last man. Okay, let's keep an eye out for our uh, base in the distance. What the hell is that effect? How does the game look on your end? Can you guys actually see? I could probably move my camera elsewhere for Vintage Story, huh? Okay, I can see our farm. Oh, is that rain I'm seeing in the distance? I don't know. Setting my head on fire, that's fine. Try and get like a nice... How do I hide the... Uh, there we go. Something to use in the... Uh... There we go, that's better. Something to use for the, uh, the thumbnail. For the VOD. Well, perfect's maybe a bit of a stretch, but you know what I mean. That's good enough. It's fine on the gamma side. Okay, good. I know you can't see shit at the moment, chat. Neither can I, so don't worry about it. Um, almost back. Chasing down a rabbit right here. Looks like this one over here is gone. I had a bear, but where? Oh my god! <laughs> where to god, man? This game's gonna give me a heart attack. It's not a bear, it's a boar. But I did hear a bear. Oh, you jammy little fucker. Wait, where's my other spear? Probably broke, right? But why, though? Okay, we are done with our second jar. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I jumped, like, genuinely that scared me then. <laughs> Alright, um, you know what? Let's just keep this here for now as an overflow. Um, I'm sure we'll need it at some point, but right now we can just keep, keep things where they are. Okay, so what we do need is... Um, and out torch. Hold on. Oh, it just 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 disintegrated. Okay, I thought I could pick that back up. Replace this. Um. Yeah. So we need we need to look for desperately. We need more copper. So that's going to be our main aim. More seeds would also be very welcome. Oh my god, there's a bear right there. Okay. And then we need to start building an actual base. Because this this isn't going to cut it. Also, more peat. 
let's drop the old ore here. We're gonna go, it's gonna be a foot journey. Get out of my face, I swear. And let's drop the bowl. We could probably use a poultice, huh? Wow, it heals like almost nothing. That's cool. We need flint also. Keep it out of my face. Keep it out of my face. Keep it out of my face. I like how he puts his hand up like that. What is that? To like protect himself from the wind. That's a cool touch. Yeah, you know what? This game's awesome. Okay, so. New day is about to dawn. What day are we on now? We are on day seven. It's been a whole week. It takes five hours to go a week in this game. That's crack. But with that said, I think now is as good a time as any to end the stream. It's been uh, it's been a great stream today, but uh, my back is absolutely fucked. Uh, excuse the language. And um, yeah, I think I need to go and stretch. You will see a little bit of latency here, possibly on the on the home screen whilst I quit. Vintage Story is a game that you alt F four for for sure. Orange, thank you. I mean, Oboe, thank you very much for being here. Um, I appreciate all of the uh, new people that came out to watch some uh, some Vintage Story. It's great to have new people here. Thank you very much, Orange, Dark Dwayne. Uh, Tristam came back. Lots of people here that haven't been here in a while as well. Um, Micaiah. Appreciate you all. Uh, let's send a little raid out. You know what? Let's go send a raid over to, uh, I know we crane. Oh, here we go. We, we raid him every time, but he's my boy. He's Claiborne. He's playing my favorite game. Caves of Cud. And I will see you over there. Thank you very much for being here. I will be back tomorrow, 6pm GMT, for some FTL and then some Caves of Cud. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Let me play you a little music out here. Only when he emancipates himself from the dubious interpretations of good and evil.